What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Beastly Thought Show live here on YouTube. Today, we got the Beastly Gamer. Say hello, Beastly. What's up, baby? What's up? We got Cod <laughs> Made Player. Hi. Nine to five gamers. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Not too nerdy. You guys are. What's up? Oh, I, should I start uh... this over again, guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're live? No. <laughs> Not too nerdy. What have you been playing this week? That's a good question. Um, absolutely nothing. I have been no. trying to play games, but I was not feeling too well, and I've been really busy this week. I literally made two videos on my Did channel. You get one of those late, like early spring colds, because I've got one of those too. Yeah, I don't know if it's that allergies. I have no idea what it is. It's I just wasn't feeling well, and I made two videos, and pretty much it was based off the the update for the PS4. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A lot of people were making videos about that update. A lot of people here were making videos about that update. There's a lot of stuff in that PlayStation 4 update. Yeah, they just threw everything that people thought was going to be there day one. They just threw it in there now. They're like, boom. And a lot of them, they didn't even say anything it was going to be in there. Yeah. And you had to look for it to activate it because it wasn't activated yet. So. <laughs> yeah, like the HTCP. Yeah, yeah. that was weird. That was weird stuff, but it ended up. I think it really increases the value of the PlayStation 4 console. It's just all the things they updated. That Share Factory, awesome. uh, Cod, Cod Made Player made a video about that that I watched to learn how to use it. Um, the HCCP coming off, all of that stuff, I thought was really good. I'm hey, excited you, about the did Twitch. Did you guys see Twitch. how lame the uh, the controller light thing is? How yeah. you can barely adjust the light at all. Man. And not only that, but when you do it and you turn your system back on, it recycles it. So it's bright as soon as oh, you it turn does. it back on. And I'm like, are you serious? I have to do this every time I turn my system on? <laughs> I'm going with Nazi Nerdy Sushi, and I like his like customized logo on his controller. Yeah, mm -hmm. that those are nice. And it also sells a blacked out one, too, in case you want a blackout one. So if you yeah. don't want any light, they could block it out. I'm not racist. Think... Maybe I'll get like a white out one. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have that, too. That, that's the kind I got. <laughs> Man, I'm not going to spend money on a blackout one. I'll just get a Sharpie and color the light bar up. Yeah, a little bit of electrical tape. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nine to five gamers, what have you been, what have you been playing this week? I know um, you've been playing Child of the Light, and I want to talk to yeah, you about it. Yeah, I played... I've been playing that uh, Trials Fusion. I'm almost done with. I'm on the all last the expert courses. I'm on the last hard part, and then I'm on to the expert one. Those are hard. The hard oh. is hard. Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> like, got to like, ride on one wheel for damn near. Yeah. And then uh, I'm, I finished my Fez, which my last part will be going up tonight. Okay. So Trials Fusion. Let's talk about Trials Fusion first because I really like that game, but it is definitely hard. It's not for everybody. But the genius of that game, and it's always been since they started making those on the Xbox, is that if you fail, you hit that restart button. You just like, without hesitation, go back to the last checkpoint or back to the beginning of the race. So you never get that those long load times that really frustrate you. I think that game is actually really fun. Yeah. If that game had load times, it would ruin it. Because it it really you would. hit that button so many damn times. There's a level where I died like 240 some times. I'm like, <laughs> all right, should I just stop and come back to this? And that's hard. That's not even the expert <laughs> level stuff yet. Yeah. Like there's yeah. some really hard stuff in there. You really gotta be you gotta be quick on the sticks. Did you, did you guys hear about the dark twist to Trials Fusion? That um actually every time you die in the game, that your character actually really dies, and there and you're is a clone. A, yeah, yeah, you're a clone. They're being <laughs> assembled on an assembly line. Yeah. That kind of makes you not want to fuck up. Yeah. They were, they were kind of comparing it to how, uh, like, Portal was. Yeah. Like, how the end of Portal, you find out that, spoiler, whoever hasn't played Portal, you're Don't sad. Portal. You're a sad human portal. being because <laughs> Portal is amazing. <laughs> but, yeah, they did the same thing with that. Yeah, there's a little bit of a story to that game, which kind of adds to it. Like, the background of the two AIs kind of chatting back and forth is fun. Yeah. It, you know, it adds something to each level. Some of the levels are gorgeous. Yeah. The thing I always find funny with trials, all of them, is like sometimes you don't take a deep breath before resetting. Like you'll just <laughs> die in the same part because the checkpoint is always in like a bad spot sometimes. <laughs> you have to realize, all right, I need to do this. And sometimes you just restart and you die, die, die over and over again. If you don't sometimes. have the momentum that you brought with you into that yeah. checkpoint, sometimes it's twice as hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just about to say that. Sometimes I just reset all the way to the beginning because I need the momentum to get through that area. I'm like, forget it, I'll try the whole damn level again. <laughs> So, Child of the Light. I saw that you posted a video, Child of the Light. I downloaded this game as soon as it came out, but I haven't actually had a chance to play it. Can you explain a little bit about this game? Uh, it's a 
it's made with the Rayman engine. It's a role play game, like a uh, turn based RPG. But the cool thing about it is, is um, while you're in battle, your right stick or you can use the thumb pad as well. If you you can pick like between light, the two. Yeah. yeah, you can control the light and you can put it on whatever enemy is attacking you in order and you can stop them from attacking you. Like, you can slow down their turn. And then you get into the cast area, and if you cast your spell while they're in that area as well, you'll stop their cast. So you'll just, like, uh, pretty much block it in a sense. Right. It's like it's like you get to reset their move. There's a little gauge. Yep. lets yep. you know when they're getting ready to attack. And if you screw them up at the, the right pivotal moment, it takes their whole turn away. Yeah, yeah. and, and then there's... There's also a big element functionality to it. Like, you can equip things that uh, protect you from fire or protect you from water, or you can do the same with your weapon. And then when you do that, you're uh, like, say you're fighting a fire character, you use water, it's going to do a hell of a lot more damage, and sometimes you'll interrupt their move depending on the timing of your move. And it doesn't even have to be in the cast bar just because it's uh, element-based. I've heard it compared a lot to Grandia 2, the combat system. Have you ever checked out Grandia 2? Yeah, I've never seen it. I know it's a Dreamcast game. I've never even seen footage of that at all, okay. which is crazy. Yeah, I've heard it's, it's awesome. very similar to that. And that um, you basically what you do is you touch an enemy to start a battle, and then you're brought into this turn-based yeah, yeah. kind of side world. But while you're actually playing the game, it's a 2D side scroller, right? Is it? Is it? Yeah. You, yeah, but it's not like can, a platformer, it's not, is it? Yeah, it's not traditional because at first it's like a platform. You're walking around, and then you start flying, and you can fly in the air, and then you can go everywhere. In the, But then as you're flying, they put all these little puzzles in. Like you have to hit a switch to go through this area and make the spike stop moving or else you can't time it right. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can also use the little ball guy when you're in like the – not in a fight, when you're in just the world. You can put the ball on a character and – like uh, mess with them and make them so they don't even uh, react to you being there, and then you can fly right by them. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Be, and that's supposed to be co-op too. Like you could do that. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you can do that. Uh, same screen. Yeah, it's not it's multiplayer like online or anything. Yeah, because I think the person, the second person, controls the the ball guy, and like he, that's what the second person does. Yeah, right? yeah. which I could see that being pretty cool too, because sometimes I. Like, I'm so involved in the battle, I don't even think of to move the blue guy. I'm like, damn it, I forgot I, I could actually stop his attack, but I completely forget about it half the time. Is that couch multiplayer, or is that online? Couch. Yeah. Couch. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you, you also finished Fez. Yeah, yeah, about, I finally finished Fez. Like, now that it's complete, the complete package, what do you think? I loved it. I yeah. loved it. It was worth the wait. Like, I was originally going to get on PC and play it, like, a long time ago, and then I was thinking about, um, actually, when I was, uh, I went through, like, three Xbox 360s, and I was going to pick up another one when that got released, and I think there was, like, three other, like, exclusive titles that were just on that system that I was going to pick it up for, and I was like, forget that. I'm not doing it. And then I just waited, so then I finally got it on there. You went and, uh, three I'm, Xbox 360s? Yeah, three I Xbox did. 360s. And after that, I was like, yeah, fuck you. I'm buying a PlayStation. Yeah, I went, I went through quite a few Xbox 360s, too. I kept getting them. Uh, numerous, numerous issues. Wow. I still got my original. But I love Fez. It's it's probably one of the better uh, puzzle games I've ever played. I, I highly recommend that to anybody who's into even any any sort of puzzle-based game, if you're into it. Like, uh, I played Catherine. Echo Chrome, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of along the same lines as that, where you need to rotate the level in yeah. order to walk across certain beams or find different areas. Yeah, it sounds good. I've never checked it out. I always have meant to. Codmade Player, what have you been playing this week? Uh, actually, I went to GameStop the other day to pre-order um, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and this older guy walked in with an Xbox 360, had no cables to it, so GameStop was going to throw it away. I was like, hey, man, I'll take that. Uh <laughs> So they gave it to me, uh, brought it home, had Red Ring of Death. I fixed it. <laughs> uh, I got it all fixed up. Now it works. So I've been playing some GTA Five finally again. Uh, and then I've been I downloaded a uh, Daylight. That game's pretty freaking fun. Uh, really intense game. Daylight is the horror game. Is that what? Yeah. You're... Then basically the new Outlast. Okay. Um, playing a lot of uh, Rezo Gun lately because I play with Not Too Nerdy and I was like, damn, this game is kind of fun again. <laughs> we were playing for a while. That was fun, man. Oh, <laughs> it yeah. was fun co-op. 
I even know I kept getting my ass kicked and dying. <laughs> so did I, man. We both stuck to the beginning, man. That was pretty bad. <laughs> I didn't even realize that Resident Gun was a multiplayer game. Oh, yeah. Yep. yeah. It gets yeah. even crazier with two people on screen, though. Like, cause that, I bet. <laughs> that game is crazy, yeah. He kept scaring the crap out of me. I'm like, oh, crap. And then, uh, he's like, it's just me. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, and what else have I been playing? Oh, I, I actually bought Trials Fusion. Uh, I'm not going to do any videos of that. I, I'm not really into the game too much. I mean, it's pretty fun, strategy-based, but it's not something I want to put in my videos. But the game really does intrigue me. It's pretty fun. A uh, good way to waste time because you get freaking stuck into it that you want to beat this track that you keep fucking up on. Yeah. And... Uh, what else have I played? I've been playing some Battlefield 4 with 9 to 5 gamers. We do that at least once or twice a week. And yeah. just waiting to get my Xbox 360 so I can play some Dead Rising 3 and uh, some Squad's Titanfall with you guys. Came out. Squad's mode came out for Battlefield 4, right? 9 to 5 gamers, I think, tweeted about that. Yeah, it's broken, yeah. though. It's so fucking broken. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, if, well, you have a, if you have a party over, over three people, you can't get into any room at all. It'll, yeah, I made a like, video about that. It'll lose connection. Yeah, it'll try to migrate you into a game, and then it'll act like it's loading up, and then all of a sudden it'll say, "Oh, we can't connect to host." So as long as you have like two people in a squad, you're good to go. But you go to you know any more than that, because you can get five people up in your squad, and it, there's no way to fucking do it yet. Yeah. This disc has not been used that much at all. Can't, you can't play first-person shooter. That's your problem. That's why. I definitely can. I just. Not... <laughs> you guys laugh now. You see some of my video, my black light. I was doing pretty well in that. Just to let you know. Oh, you I should donate that, that back to GameStop or something. Weapon? Yeah, I said you should donate that game back to GameStop. They need I should donate to the ground right because that's where it came from. <laughs> 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 they didn't do anything. As soon as they fix it, as soon as they say, "Guess what, guys? We're just kidding." Battlefield 4 is releasing next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they should almost re-release it and give it to everyone for free. <laughs> Alright, the game's fixed for everybody else, but for Nazi Nerdy, it's still broken because he's heard there's play some shit. The I heard there's some still built base out in Texas there. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so has the game not crashed on anyone? No, no the, game, the game itself is fixed. It runs perfect now. As long as you you have to search for the server, don't use the quick serve. Like don't uh just go to quick match. You have to search uh server and based off your region, and then do it that way, and then just pick like the highest ping, and you'll never even lag. It doesn't even rubber band anymore. So you have to do it like that. They still won't. Yeah, direct the quick match is the quick match is broken. Okay. Yeah. They also so released that. for Battlefield Four. Um, Servers, you can rent servers for the console versions. Yeah, that it's it's lame though because when you get in a server, if you're like a big like monster and you're just destroying everybody, like me and me and Codmate player and one other person we were playing with, they kicked us all. Like we won the match and right before the match ended, they kicked the whole team, so we didn't get any of our points for the round. Well, that's that's completely bullshit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why I was never I'm I was never fond of doing that, like having. Uh, a host, a hosted room. They did the same thing on Soulcom and on uh, Rainbow Six and all that. They would, if you're really good and they don't want to challenge, they'll just kick you. I like the idea of it though. Being able to customize your rule set on the server, you know, like no, like for COD, it would be great. Like have a server that has none of the bullshit that COD always has in it. Like no target finders, no IEDs, no none of this like crap that just gets yeah. in everybody's way that everybody hates anyway. But, you know, everybody says they hate it, but everybody's using it. So, like, if, if I could get a COD game that didn't have, like, any one game that just didn't have all the baloney. Like, imagine uh, Modern Warfare 2 that just didn't have, you know, noob tubes and, you know, javelin glitching and, you know, all this junk that just ruins these games. That, that's really attractive to me. That's why I always tell my buddies in, uh, when we're playing Titanfall, I'm, I get so mad when I get killed by a satchel charge. But when I do it, I love that shit. Yeah, it's fucking hell. <laughs> it's hell when I do it. When they do it to me, I'm mad as hell. Well, well, Here, catch this. <laughs> I see it as when you complain about something that's in the game, but like, why the fuck you complain about it? It's in the game. It's there to use. You know, just deal with yeah. it. I know. I know it pisses you off when you get killed by it, but when you use it, you're all fucking happy. So it's basically yeah. like a hypocrite. Yeah. Yeah. IEDs. Somebody, IEDs. It's like hot, hot, bitch. I got you. IEDs yeah. are different, though. I never use them. I swear, I just never use them. Well, what yeah, we talk about the next subject. Ever. 
COD, when we talk about the next subject, that's when yeah, I'll, we, I'll debate I, that. I part. feel like we're going to talk a lot of COD tonight. When we talk about <laughs> Call of Duty, then I'm going to debate that because there's two features that they're definitely going to add by the trailer, and that's something that pissed me off with Crisis, pissed me off with Titanfall. This is something no, that you're not be oh, 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 <laughs> in a competitive multiplayer. Never should you ever have cloaking, but go ahead. That's, yeah. that's all I got to say. Beastly Gamer, what have you been playing this week? <laughs> uh, I've, been, I've been doing a little bit of uh, a lot of different gaming, man. Uh, at work all week last week, I was playing my Pixel Junk Musters on my PlayStation Vita. Yeah. Uh, at home, I've been really focusing on my channel, trying to get things together. I just did my um, my gaming setup video that went out last night. I um, have been playing some old school Modern Warfare. I played Modern Warfare 2. I've been playing that. Modern Warfare 3. And Modern Warfare 2 pissed me off beyond belief. Because oh, yeah, that game is completely broken. <laughs> if, you, if you see what these idiots are doing in this game now, I, yeah. I mean, as soon as I saw it, actually, I got it saved. I might upload it. I mean, flying through the sky, just shooting. I'm like, oh, really? Yeah, oh, yeah. The and, game's and, completely hacked. And me, I'm trying to shoot him out of the sky, not knowing that I, it just can't happen. Yeah. And uh, so I was playing Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of uh, Call of Duty Ghost Onslaught. I've been playing that. I really like those levels, the Onslaught DLC maps. Mm -hmm. They really bring back that nostalgia of a, a close quarters map that you can deal with where you yeah. know the enemies aren't. 400 yards away, and so I've really been enjoying that. What else? I've been playing uh, Gotham City Imposters, uh, which came out on is, PS3. Is that, that game, game still? Is that game still running? Yes. Okay, it's got a community still. Yes. yes. Uh, it was part of that dollar sale that I told you guys about uh, yeah. a few weeks ago. And speaking of sales, since I'm the beastly gamer, I feel like it's my duty to bring our viewers this information. PlayStation Network has a five dollar flash sale going on right now. They got about 25 games, including games like Max Payne 3 and uh, Red Dead Redemption, all for five dollars. Uh, and so it, this sale ends tomorrow at 12 p.m. So if you guys have a few extra dollars in your PlayStation Network account and you want to get, you know, a few extra games, check out the PlayStation Network's five dollar flash sale. Yeah, but go. You gotta you gotta check out their website because I don't think they're they're showing it. In the uh, on the store on the uh, consoles, right? You gotta actually go to their website. No, you can see it on the console. Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah, just look look up. Well, it should be right there in the front. Flash sale. Okay. But uh, yeah, most of the games during that sale I already have. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of Call of Duty um, because I wanted to get, I wanted to remember what made Call of Duty great. Yeah, everybody's got these like nostalgic love for the old Call of Duties, but that shit was broken as hell, and people forget. <laughs> <laughs> like especially Modern Warfare Two. People are always saying Modern Warfare Two was the best Call of Duty that ever came out, and I say, are you kidding me? Like the javelin glitch. I mean, there's so much junk that was absolutely game breakingly broken about that game. It was the most frustrating Call of Duty that ever came out. But the, the thing, the thing funny. is. Was the World at is, War was fun, but it just was so broken too. But World of War was a lot of fun, man. Just World of War had happened. only one gun that was good, though. Yeah. <laughs> like everybody else was just, that MP40 was like everybody was running around with Juggernaut MP40. Well, see, the, the problem with Modern Warfare 2 was just too easy for everybody to hack. Um, you know, you could just put something on your flash drive, stick it into the PS3, yeah. or stick it into your Xbox 360, and all of a sudden you you have a hacked, uh, yeah. you know, account. You didn't even have to go that far. You could hack it from within the game. Like that juggernaut, or I'm sorry, the uh, javelin glitch, people were doing that for the first six months of that game before they patched that game. They didn't patch that game for six months after release. And it was, I mean, it was constantly, you were just constantly dealing with that shit. It was so broken. No, the game was frustrating. The thing is, I did like, my, when Modern Warfare 2 works, it works well. When you get a game that has real players, and they're not trying to take advantage of, you know, Glitches and hacks. The yeah, I've never fun. seen that lobby. Yeah, <laughs> I saw I saw one today. Uh, it doesn't happen as often, but like, say for instance, if they were to remake Modern Warfare 2 on PS4 without all those issues, it would still be a fun game. The uh, maps were fun. A lot of the weapons were fun, but they had so many. They had so, like that danger close perk with combined with noob tubing and uh, what was the one where you could change your loadout during the match? So you could constantly be refilling your noob tube. Um, uh, I forget what the name of that perk was. That's one where that, you pick up. You pick up the weapons. You pick. No, up no, no. You, you can actually like change your loadout during the match, and what would happen is oh. basically 
you would have somebody just make two classes where you could do that, and they'd constantly be noob tubing throughout the match. They'd go to this place that you couldn't find them or that was well hidden, uh, and start just noob tubing people constantly, and then they would earn a nuke using the, this bullshit setup. And it's like, how is that fun for anybody else on the map? They're just getting like noob tubed constantly by this danger close. And then the the new uh, danger close would also work with the kill streaks. So if you got a chopper gunner. The splash damage was so po so powerful that like if you were anywhere near where that thing was shooting, you were gonna die. That game was broken, and people now, forget how bad that game was. I, I want to draw a comparison here between what Briar Rabbit just said <clears throat> and what a husband would say to a psychiatrist after he found his wife cheating. This game has hurt you, Briar Rabbit. I <laughs> this game has hurt you. And if you changed a few of the words that Briar Rabbit said, a few of the words, you heard, and I'm telling you now, she was good until I walked into the room, and then she turned around and said, well, what are you looking at? I yeah. mean, that's what it sounds like you're talking about. This game really did a number of well, there's a There's sleep. a revisionist it's, history about college. <laughs> if, you love, if you love it, though. You'll accept it for what it is. Yeah. <laughs> there's a, yeah. Yeah, that's like me in Battlefield. Look, there's a I'll take you back. Call of Duty, right? Is all these people are saying that you know, whenever the new Call of Duty come out, this happened with Black Ops One, it happened with Modern Warfare Three, Black Ops Two, and now it's happening with Ghosts. Everybody says this game sucks. Modern Warfare One, COD Four, or Modern Warfare Two were the best games ever. They should bring it back to that. Everybody forgets how fucking broken those games were. And how much they wanted a new game <laughs> when those games were actually being played. When they're like, if you put out Call of Duty Ghosts side by side with Modern Warfare 2, nobody would have been playing Modern Warfare 2 because Call of Duty Ghosts is so much better. It's so much better. Nobody, everybody has this like nostalgic remembrance but for Modern Warfare is, 2. Is that Ghost that much? Do you think Ghosts is really better than Black Ops 2? Absolutely. Black Ops uh, 2. Black Ops 2. Black Ops. Black Ops. I say Black Ops. Could Black, Black Ops one? I say Black, I Ops, Black Ops, Ops one. The first Black Ops, I think, was one of the best Call of Duty. That's what I'm saying. So, they like, made. I didn't mean. I think Black. I think Black Ops two downgraded from Black Ops. I'm saying, like, from Black Ops, that's the thing. Like, that's what people are comparing it to. I think that's why yeah. people had a bad taste of Ghost. I literally did not buy Ghost. I rented Ghost, and I yeah. played it. And I even have footage when I played it right on a PS3 because I didn't want to wait a month until the PlayStation Four came out. Okay, it came out a month before PlayStation Four came out. So yeah. I played it. And you see the footage. I was playing, doing all right. I just got bored with it. I literally said that this is not, this is, this sucks. That yeah, I literally played this you know, okay. until, like, I literally prestige in the first three days. Me and my friends were playing, we prestige, and that's what we used to do all the time, anytime Call of Duty came out. That's why people say I don't play first-person shooter. I play them, but, like, I tend not to play anymore because of that reason. Because that's right. They're defend, not making your honor. defend your honor. Defend your honor. Because they're, they're not making changes. Do you know what I mean? And, yeah. like, that's the thing that drives me crazy. It's the same story, same type of weapons, and, like, they might add one or two weapons differently, but we could, we could uh, lead into the, the next Call of Duty if you guys right. want to announce that. That's a segue. Beastly, you've been playing anything else? I want to talk about what I've been playing before we get. I've been playing. Oh, yeah, right. um, <laughs> I've been playing my Dreamcast. Uh, I've been playing Soul Calibur on the Dreamcast. Play a little bit of Echo the Dolphin. I'm really considering playing Skies of Arcadia. Um, on and, Dreamcast, uh, do you own that game or do you need yeah, to pick it up? I own it, yeah. How is that game not on some kind of online service? We should. Because they want the world who doesn't have a Dreamcast to suck. They yeah. they released it for the Nintendo, one of the Nintendo yeah, platforms. The, game, the, game, the game. GameCube, yeah. yeah. What game? Which Skies one? of Arcadia? Oh, I thought you meant Echo. I'm like, <laughs> like Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> They have it on Android, I think. Yeah, they do, they do. <laughs> so I've been uh, getting into retro. I've played my... God, you just mentioned that. Me and my older son, my oldest son, we've been playing uh, Smash Brothers on GameCube, and uh, I've been whooping his ass. He asked me to upload it so you guys can see how good he is. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've had an actually pretty good uh, week as far as gaming goes and uh, setting up my channel and, and getting new stuff like new lights and... I'm looking into getting me a new HD uh, video recorder. So things are looking up for the BC Gamer. That's nice. You know, uh, one of the great things about YouTube is if you're a nerd, there's tons of stuff to buy. Rare when you think you're good. All right, I'm good. I got everything I need. Yeah. Yep. No, you don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge nerd, and I love, buying all, <laughs> I love buying and fiddling with gadgets, and that's one of the attractions to YouTube for me. So I've been playing a whole bunch of Wedding Planner 2014. You guys heard about this game? 
This is a <laughs> it's I a free, free to play game. game. <laughs> this is a free to play game. No, it's not. No, 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 it's not free to play. It's definitely not free to play. However, it's, it's, it's free to watch. It's, free it's to definitely play. microtransactions hidden somewhere. <laughs> I wouldn't call it microtransactions, right? <laughs> Mega Me- transactions. Mega transactions. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> The graphics are amazing, but <laughs> the writing is a bit meh. Nah. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been doing a lot of that. So my game time has been a little bit reduced this week. Like I said, I didn't even get a chance to play Child of the Light after I downloaded it. Actually, before I move on, 9 to 5 Gamers, did you, do you have a PS Vita? I yeah, did, I and I don't. Yeah, I was, <laughs> what I was hoping was that I could... Uh, use that through the PS Vita, like you know, remote play it. You you can you can use it remote play. My buddy actually uh sent me a picture on Instagram and tagged me in it because he was yeah. playing it remote play. Yeah, because it seems so. like a great game to play on a portable device. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I just had a question about that before I moved on. So I want to screen share you a couple of screenshots of a game I have actually been playing. Give me a second to get that going. This little dude. Oh, that. that what the looks hell? Sick. <laughs> <laughs> this little dude's name is Leo, right? <laughs> Can you guys see him? Yeah. Is, o- only, yeah. only when you talk, he pops up. All right. I got to probably select myself there. Yes. This little dude's name is Leo. This is an iOS game that um, is a, it's available for uh, the iPad, the iPhone, and basically any iOS device, right? And let me grab another picture here. I'm not real good at this, so stick with me for a second here. What this game is actually called is, I believe it's called Leo's something or another, and I lost the name of it, and I can't remember it now. Leo's Fortune for iOS. So this guy, all right, I can't make the screenshot work, so I'm just going to ditch it so I can <laughs> actually all, talk. It's all good. <laughs> so Leo's Fortune, basically it's a side-scrolling game, right? And you saw the picture of Leo. He's this little furball with a mustache. He talks with a Russian accent. He's absolutely hilarious. And the great thing about this game is the graphically it's amazing. For an iOS game, if they had released this for PlayStation 4, I would have said, wow, this game looks amazing on my PlayStation 4. But... It's on my iPhone, so it just looks fantastic. It's really rich graphics, really nice-looking game. And it plays really well. It's got tight controls on my iPhone, which is totally ridiculous for an for a iPhone game. Normally, that's my number one complaint for any iOS game, is that you're using the screen to control a side-scrolling platformer, and it just never works. This game is designed for the side-scrolling platform, and it feels really good. And the game has a lot of charm and a nice little story that keeps you rolling. And it's kind of fun. I really like it. Uh, and it's like four or five bucks on the iPhone, which is a nice you know, nice value. There's no microtransactions. Uh, it feels like a good value. There's 19, no, there's 24 levels total. And you're basically just following this guy along trying to find his gold. He's like this rich kind of Russian czar, but he's a furball. And uh, he jumps, and when you jump, you kind of make him inflate so he gets like to be a bigger furball. <laughs> and he kind of floats around. I don't know. It's a really fun game. It's charming. It's fun, and it works really well. Like you know, for those short gaming sessions while you're waiting for the Justice of the Peace to sign a form or something. Honestly, I think they, <laughs> I think they copied. Um, it looks exactly like Oscar the Grouch with the mustache. I don't totally, know if you've seen totally. <laughs> I should say. He's got this Russian accent, right? And he, like, all throughout the levels, he's talking. He's constantly talking. He's like, oh, this looks dangerous. <laughs> like that. It's really funny. Like, it's just a charming accent game. Again? <laughs> Can you please do the accent uh, again? One time, you're going to have to rewatch the video to get it back. <laughs> it's a really fun game, though. I highly, it's called Leo's Fortune. It's available on all the iOS devices. It's I'm also sure it's, it's also out. available on Android for those oh, who is it? I'm glad to hear it because everybody should be able to play this game. I'd really like to see it come to like PSP and DS too because I think it's one of those games that everybody's going to enjoy. It's nice. The controls are really tight. It's really fun. Uh, and that's all I've been playing. Yeah. <laughs> Wedding Planner 2014 and Leo's Fortune is really going to wrap this one up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Can we start talking about COD? I mean, I know we, we couldn't resist talking oh, about COD. Please, let's, let's, let's go this. for it. But I, I, where did where did COD made player? Yeah, go? the one person that should talk about it isn't here. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna resend them a uh, I'm gonna resend them a uh, invitation. But while while I'm doing that, I wanna I wanna jump in with 
Beasley, you made a video this week saying that COD Ghost is the worst COD of all time. You said that in the video, and I want you to—I want you to explain why you why why you think that. Kind of, I mean, Call of Duty Ghost for me, um, I play it. I'm getting pretty good at it, but I don't feel the same connection that I felt playing Black Ops 2, playing Modern Warfare 3, or even playing Modern Warfare 2. It's some kind of disconnect. It's really hard for me to pin down exactly why there there are multiple little snippets and tidbits that make me dislike it versus the other games. One of those things is how huge the, some of the levels are. Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh, the DLC addresses that to some point, but the, the levels that came with the game are definitely... They're bigger. I would say they're about the size of Modern Warfare 2 maps. Uh, I, and me personally, I like a lot of the other perks and kill streaks from some of the other Call of Duty games. Mm-hmm. I mean, and if, you have, if I had to pick one... Right as of right now, it wouldn't be ghosts. It would be one of the others. I mean, honestly, I did like Modern Warfare 2 and play it more than I do Ghost. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, I don't think was as good as Modern Warfare 2, but I still played it and enjoyed it quite a bit. Black Ops 2 for me was the high point. I played that game constantly. I was just like you, Briar Rabbit, for a, a solid year. That's what me and my wife played nonstop, yeah. and I enjoyed it. Call of Duty Ghost, when it came out, it felt like somehow they had taken a step back. Everything seemed slower, a little bit more lethargic. It, it, it seemed harder to just rush. Because in Black Ops 2, you can rush constantly. Yeah. And, I think and, actually the, the way that game is designed with the net code is that you have to rush because you're constantly... The guy who's moving seems to have an advantage because the way that game performs on a network is there's... There's a disconnect between what you're seeing as a player and what the what your oh, opponent is seeing, and it's bigger than in recent in other Call of Duty games. Like in Call of Duty Ghosts, when I get shot and I see the replay of it, like I say, yes, that's exactly how it went down in my eyes. You know, when I was playing in Black Ops Two, I was like, "What are you doing? That was not anything like what happened. I was way around <laughs> that corner. That dude was shooting at air, and like, why am I dead?" There was a ton of that in Black Ops Two, and I don't feel any of that in Call of Duty Ghosts. And to me, that makes it a lot more fun because I don't feel constantly frustrated by the network code of Black Ops 2. Well, I probably didn't experience that as much because I was doing more killing than getting killed in Black Ops 2. Oh. But, but one, one, I, one, I, I, I just heard a challenge. <laughs> I just heard a challenge. <laughs> I had to throw that out there. But, uh, yeah, I, I do think the net code in Ghost is, you know, it's more meticulous. I haven't seen any of that in Ghost. Very little. Uh, very few times have I gotten killed and then wondered how the hell the opponent killed me. I was behind the wall in Ghost. It does happen. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. And it probably does happen less than it did in previous iterations of the game. But still, I like Black Ops 2 more than Ghost. Yeah. And my, my thing with Call of Duty Ghosts is... It's definitely a slower pace Call of Duty than we got used to with Black Ops over the last year, right? But I feel like it's a tighter game, and once you kind of learn where the campers are, then you know you get used to that. IEDs, you know, if I could if I could get into a lobby that just banned IEDs, I would do it because I feel like that is the thing about Call of Duty Ghosts that everybody's always going to remember. That game was cool, but those IEDs suck. But we're also we also every year I watch YouTube videos about the current. Call of Duty game. I watched them when I was playing Modern Warfare 2. I watched them in Black Ops 1. And every year, everybody, all YouTubers were saying, you know, this game is kind of boring. I wish, you know, I wish we could go back to Call of Duty 4. I wish we could go back to World at War. I wish we could go back to Modern Warfare 2. So every year I hear this, but I don't really believe it because I think that if you try, if you release the current Call of Duty game at any point in that time, and you compared it to Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2, You'd be shocked by how bad that game was compared to what the new Call of Duty is. And I, I think that, that would work uh, when Black Ops 1 came out, when Modern Warfare 3 came out, when Black Ops 2. I think the games have steadily gotten better. Black Ops 2 and, Mo- and Ghost kind of diverge in that Black Ops 2 is a much faster paced game. Call of Duty Ghost is much more strategic in my eyes. Um, but I still say that Call of Duty Ghost is far superior game to Modern Warfare 2, COD 4, World at War, even Black Ops 1 really. Now, uh, t- to be 100% uh, honest with you guys, I-, I resisted playing Call of Duty for the first few years the game came out. And the reason was is I like to be, you know, my own guy. If I hear the whole world is, like, 
caught up in some game, especially a first-person shooter. Me coming from a fighting background, I really played more fighting games than anything else, especially at that time. I was like, I don't want to get into something new and start, you know, shooting people. To me, a first-person shooter was Doom, the original Doom. Yeah. And so yeah. I was like, this it looks okay, but I don't want to get into that, and I resisted until Modern Warfare 2 came out. And luckily for me, I resisted and, and realized how, how stupid I was. I recently, it hasn't even come in the mail yet, I bought um, uh, Black Ops 1. Because yeah. I hear a lot of people saying that that is like the best one, one of the best ever. So that will be here probably tomorrow or Tuesday. The best That'll balance, be. I think. I think it it's all around balance. Oh. Yes. And, and Did our, everybody uh, break down here? Can you I hear me? For a yeah. second. Yeah, we had a little glitch oh, there. Yeah. Not too nerdy was just to say the best play. I believe the best Call of Duty. No, I, I, well, the most balanced. Balanced. And I said it's the most balanced. I think that's why it's the best. I also liked in Black Ops One how the guns were really inaccurate. Like you had to, you had to tap the fire button. You couldn't just hold it down and spray down. Yeah, they're more like, burst fire. Yeah, after that, all the guns really have become laser beams. I haven't seen that happen again. And that was one of my favorite parts about Black Ops One is that you couldn't spray an assault rifle across the map and kill somebody. You might hit them with one bullet, but the rest of them are going to be all over the place. So you really had to burst yeah, fire. Really good. Okay. You know, there was, I think that Black Ops One had a real skill gap, and I like that in Call of Duty games. I like when there's a good skill gap, and that's what I like about Call of Duty Ghosts too. I really think there is a a strong kill uh, skill gap. Do Black Ops Two was the, I don't know, they're just Black Ops Two. There were good players and there were bad players, but. The medium players got lucky a lot, it felt like. <laughs> this is basically what you're saying about Call of Duty Ghosts, and I do agree with you on this. The Call of Duty, as far as the way the game runs, as yeah. far as the net code, is a far superior game than the rest. I don't think anybody can say that that's not true. But I'm saying, for some reason, I felt a much tighter connection playing Black Ops 2, even though it does have a lot more faults. Yeah. Then Call of Duty goes. I like that there's actual color in Black Ops 2. That's yeah, something yeah, that I really like miss. Yeah, it's a whole rainbow. That, that, that <laughs> yeah. on its own brown use, and green. They use more colors than gray and dark gray. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but the thing, the thing is, I think whoever was uh, des designing it, is the lead artist for Ghost, they had to have a real problem. I'm, I'm sure they mo most recently got divorced or something. Because a little uh, depressed? <laughs> yeah. Every map, every Could map is washed out. Yeah, every, every, every map is washed out colors, yeah. and on top of that, they decide for each map that has washed out colors to make the the uniform of the the uh, also gray. The yeah. same color as the background. And that damn ghillie suit, guys hiding in corners with ghillie suits. What kind of? You're no kind of man. Get up there. Get up. Stand, Stand up, up and man. fight like a goddamn no. man. <laughs> <laughs> rabbit, he feels it in his heart, guys. He truly does. Bear with it. So, you guys want to talk about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? I think that was the biggest news of this week, right? One, one, Wait, one what's more, that? One more again? question. What is, that? <laughs> is, that, is that an iOS game? <laughs> Honestly, it's funny you guys should say that because when I watched that trailer, I was thinking to myself, this game could have any name on it, and I would be like, cool, man, new game. The yep. fact that it says Call of Duty, like, I mean, it doesn't look like a Call of Duty game to me. I mean, it doesn't look any more like a Call of Duty game than it looks like a, I don't know, yeah, it looks. Well, <laughs> yeah. I guys... mean, it, it could have any name. It doesn't need to have that Call of Duty name because it's just, I mean, it looks so different. That advanced setting or that future setting, it's just, it's really going to change things. You guys see like the that. joke going around on Twitter that people kept tweeting, like, different pictures for the game? That it's, yeah. it had, like, uh, Kevin Spacey, and it said uh, Event Warfare, and it had him on the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> it's like the Game Boy fans picture of it. He's just there. I love that, man. That's awesome. So, what did you guys think of the trailer? Did you guys did it get you excited? Was it boring? What did you guys think? I'll let you go, Nancy Nerdy. What did you think? I questioned it. Like, I it looked pretty cool. The story to me, right away, the same story. As much as people want to argue, it's the same story. Someone got the wrong, like the wrong person got power. Mm -hmm. And now you're there. It's Ender World. You have to stop them. Same story. They have never separated from that story. That's always a story, no matter how you look at it. It's every Call of Duty story. So yeah, there's, there's only really seven stories. stories in the world, and we just keep telling. And uh, now you're looking at the exoskeleton suits. Um, they yeah. took that from a movie. <laughs> I'm not gonna say which movie. Yeah, Elysium. <laughs> yeah, there you go. No. <laughs> <laughs> Literally took that from a movie, but that's fine. They, if people want something different in the game, that's cool. And the certain features of it, you know, I want to see real gameplay from this. I want to see how they're going to use it, what they're going to use on multiplayer. 
because mm -hmm. some of these features look cool, like climbing a wall and stuff like that, but can you use that in multiplayer? Yeah, like, well, a lot, of, a lot of Call of Duty games have things in the single player that you can't do in the multiplayer. That's what I mean. Like, the people are talking about, oh, like, to take cover behind a wall. Like, how are we going to use that? Are they going to be able to? How's that going to yeah. work? Are you going to get know. shot as you're pulling that wall out? Like, what are you going to do, you know? I, I hope so. I hope I'm shooting your ass while you're doing that. You know what I mean? You're, 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 you're in the animation. You know what I mean? You're in the animation while you're someone else is playing. I don't think that's going to happen like that. It's going to take too long for you to do that. I don't know yeah. how it's going to work. That so. wall was cool. I, I don't want to... Damn. That wall is cool, though, because if it is in multiplayer, it sets up a whole bunch of different strategies you can use it for. Yeah, you can set it up and camp behind it, you know, in a corner somewhere. Yeah. But you can also set it up in a hallway, like, between the enemies and your objective, so that they have to, like, mantle over it to get to your objectives, and then you just mow them down while they're but, trying to get over it. Stuff like it, that it, would be it cool. Might, it might be a kill streak too. It might just it might not be something you but can... But I could, yeah. It's killing me that every time Call of Duty, right, and all the fans, they try to, to limit people from camping. And now they're adding more features to make people so, camp. Yep. They're going to add yeah. cloak, and they're going to add all this stuff that lets people camp. A lot of people that cloak, they sometimes snipe. Imagine a sniper cloaking. A sniper cloaking and put something in front of them so you can't see them. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's just back to Black Ops 1 with ghost, ghost uh, camping. You know, the people would put yeah. ghosts on so you can't detect them on a radar. And then they just camp the whole thing. It's game. funny because like people complain. They're like, "Oh, cool, it's cloak. That's why cloak doesn't work. Cloak does not work well at all. Crisis. People hate cloak. Like yeah. if you look at it, people use it every second. And like if you don't use it, then you're gonna die. So you people, have to use it too. And then it becomes like, "Oh, did I really get that kill, or was it just because I was cloaked and they could have seen me?" I've yeah. heard it said many times that the cloaking is what killed Crisis Three multiplayer. That game was solid yeah. overall, but the cloaking killed it. And don't forget, they took that straight out from Blacklight Retribution. The 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 radar the one the scanners if yeah. they use that in the multiplayer you're gonna be able to see everyone through walls now I don't know about that oh that's the ultimate anti camper though you chuck that <laughs> thing into it like okay yeah. give it yeah. a limited that, field that's the answer right there that's the answer to yeah campers. give it a limited field of radius you know so what you saw in the trailer would be how it works in single player yeah. but in multiplayer give it like a limited field you know small radius Chuck it into a room. Anybody who's camping in that room, you're going you're gonna to be able to see them. You're going to see which way they're pointing. You're going to go in there. You're going to slaughter them, and you're going to feel good about it. What if you are the camper? <laughs> then you know what everyone is to snipe them from far away. You the camper. You should, you no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you said you should never be the camper. That's the problem. If you're cloaking, say, if you're cloaking or whatever, or you're just up the high spot and you throw that, yeah. then you can see exactly where people are to snipe them. That's my problem with it. It's not that you can't. Find the people, because you always know. Once you get killed once, you know where they are, where they're yeah. camping. That's yeah. not the problem. But yeah. the thing is, where the people that camp, they can throw that, and they know exactly where everyone is, and they can continue to camp and pick them off one by one. See, you're talking about noob campers, right? Noob campers, they sit in the same place over and over again. Good campers, they kill you <laughs> once, and then they and move, move a little bit, spot. but still are hiding into a corner, and then they wait for you to come revenge kill not them, if you can, you again. <laughs> Not if you can get four kills and one death. I'll sit there and take four. I'll get four kills and then die once. I'll keep going back and forth until I get different perks. I mean, not too dirty. Are you? Are you a dirty little camper? camper. I'm just saying. You camper. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just letting you know how a camper thinks. You know, you gotta think like one. No wonder you're not wearing out those control sticks on your PS4. You're not. <laughs> you're not, not even moving. using the left one. <laughs> no, because I have not been playing first person shooter as much right now. Only. Yeah, that's it. Black light retribution. That's it. Oh, <laughs> So what do you, what do you think, Cod May player? Uh, I mean, uh, nine to five gamers. Did you I, did you like I, the uh, trailer? I liked it because of Kevin Spacey. That was yeah. cool. But and uh, the visuals were cool. But my my thing is Call of Duty, like you said, always shows all this cool shit and none of it's in their multiplayer. Yeah. Or the stuff that they do show, you don't really use it. It's like a it's like a button press, like the climbing the wall. I'm sure it's gonna be left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and you're gonna be going like this. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm sure they're they're not gonna allow you to have like free roam with that, which I get. They can't really do that in a shooter because oh, then it would have to be open world in a sense. Well, the Titanfall gets away with it pretty well. I'm talking about like campaign wise. Campa mm. Campaign wise, oh, they won't. Yeah. And I don't. And I feel they won't really stress it in the multiplayer because you're going to open up a whole bag of tricks with those people that like they just try to find the easy way out on games like that. Yeah, with multi. Yeah, with multiplayer, if you give players a chance to really move around the map, they're going to find map glitches. But yeah. if you got a guy camping in a window and he's got like IEDs or claymores on the stairs, so it's really hard to get up to him. 
if you could just use that jetpack, jump through that window and nail them, or you can climb up the wall and get them yeah. that way. I mean, that stuff yeah, I like to that me whole is aspect cool. Of yeah, like, like Titanfall, and jumping in Titanfall, that's that's cool yeah. as hell to me. Yeah, it, it, a lot it, of might, people... it might be possible to shoot from those walls too, guys. Yeah, yeah. hang on, you like you get it. Run halfway up a wall, and somebody run up under you, and you just blast them. I mean, yeah, there's lots of I, possibilities. I, 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 I think they're going to do the the whole hover bike pretty much the same yeah. same lines as the snowmobile they did in the other one. It's probably an exact replica of the snowmobile with a different skin on it. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm I'm just I, I really don't want to be disappointed by it, and I hope they do do a lot of different stuff. But uh, I don't the, see it happening. The inclusion of Kevin Spacey has me excited about the single player. Yes, I Frank never, Underwood. Yeah. I yeah. never Frank played Underwood. single player on COD. Like I still haven't played the single player on Call of Duty Ghosts. I played the single player on Black Ops 2, I think, in like October. Yeah, you just you did know? that. You did that at the same time I did. Yeah, I mean, I, I just don't want to get excited about single player games, Call of Duty Ghosts. I think the last one I really had a great time with was Black o- or Modern Warfare 2. Uh, other than that, I just don't care. I play it for the multiplayer. But this one, I'm pretty excited about the single player. It looks like it could be a lot of fun. When I, when I saw this trailer, I was pleasantly surprised for a few reasons. Uh, seeing Kevin Spacey taking the role that he has in House of Cards almost. It's yeah. pretty much the same guy, Frank Underwood. House of Duty. That that show is incredible. <laughs> That's an incredible yeah. show. Uh, yeah. and, and and seeing the new graphical aesthetic that they put on this game maybe hope to be positive. I mean, I, I want something good to come out of this. Now, if we take into account, guys, there's only so many ways a story can be told in a massively online shooter, a war setting. It's, it's not like, you know, Rebecca leaves you and then all of a sudden it's a love story. It has to be war. It has to be some type of worldwide drama for Call of Duty, for Battlefield, for games like that. You guys hearing that? Yeah, it's my lady's TV. Hold up. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking uh, Cod May was here <laughs> answering us or something. But, um, when you're playing a, a war game, it has to be a war scenario. When you watch war movies, it's usually a similar scenario. Yeah. There's, there's some kind of, uh, you know, titan or, uh, you know, a person in power around the world who wants to do dirt, and you or you watch this group of people go in there and take them out, and usually that's what happens here. It's always some city that they have being destroyed. Now it's the, it San Francisco. It's cool, man. It's you cool I mean? to watch a city blow up. It's just yeah. like, <laughs> it's always some city that they have. That's the thing that just bugs me out. They could have done something different, but it's always some city that you recognize, and they came back to your home, and now you have to fight against it. That's yeah. what I mean. It could have been a little more creative. Yeah, yeah, there's, only, but, but, there's but, a theory but, out there that there's only like seven real stories in the world, right? And these stories just keep getting retold with different details. So, like, there's revenge stories, uh, you know, love stories. Love stories. Yeah, you know, there's only seven complete stories, though, and they just they just keep getting retold in different novels, different movies, with different details. So, I mean, games are no different. You're, you're going to constantly see these stories get recycled. It's just wanting to see one company recycle the same. That's what I mean. It's yeah. not like you're recycling someone else's where you're recycling your own work. Over there. That's why people are like, what's going on? That's but, but, but it is kind of the key to success. I mean, look at companies like Marvel. They've regurgitated the superhero story over and over and over again, telling the same story Which about Which one? Her. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> there, there's a superhero with a false identity who goes out and saves people, and yeah, it's the same thing. It's just a different person with slightly different powers. The story's being regurgitated, and it's successful. Thor, Thor, didn't, didn't, Thor didn't get bit by a spider. No. <laughs> 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 that was like an otter or something. Radioactive <laughs> otter. <laughs> Got it over. I'm pretty sure yeah. that's the cannon, right? Yeah, he, 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 uh, he was walking in front of Ace Hardware and somebody threw a hammer at him. <laughs> <laughs> he was at the Home Depot and uh, <laughs> no, awesome. but I, I'm 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 cautiously optimistic about this for a few reasons, guys. Uh, for one thing. The masses, not just us, everybody has been talking about Call of Duty needs a fresh new something. Yeah. It needs a new yeah. look. It needs a new mechanic. We were talking about this a few months ago, and Briar Rabbit was like, well, there's not too much they can really do with Call of Duty as far as changing it. They don't want to turn it into Titanfall. They don't want to turn it into all these other games. Sledgehammer's done something here. So i got to say bravo for that. This game looks very different from the other Call of Duties, okay? You're able to do things that you were never able to do in any of the other Call of Duties, they got one of the, the biggest actors in the world in this. And I'm thinking Spacey wouldn't be in this game if the story wasn't fantastic because he has agents. 
that actually, you know, look over this stuff before he goes and signs on the dotted line. So or they're like, hey, we got deep pockets. Here's some money. <laughs> that, that, that's a, that's a right. possibility, but, but he'd still be risking selling his name if he goes and just puts his, his brand on some shit. Uh, what Spacey's if, been in some really shitty movies. <laughs> what, if, what, if, what if Spacey's only in the trailer? And he's really not even in the game. Psych! <laughs> <laughs> you just saw the intro movie before and you never see him again. Mm-hmm. Somebody comes up right at the end of that speech and shoots him in the back yeah, of the head. He does, yeah. <laughs> this, this is honestly, I'll end, end with this, what I think about this trailer. If we all consistently think just because it's Call of Duty, like I know some guys online who just say, well, it's COD, it's shit. It's Call of Duty, it's going to be crap. Yeah. Just because of the name gives them a negative connotation. Yeah, I don't mind that. You know, if you, if you don't like Call of Duty, that's fine. You know, that doesn't, man. But doesn't thing, bother me at all. I like Call of Duty. One of the th- reasons I like Call of Duty is because I've I've been playing it for years. So I've built up a skill set in Call of Duty, and I like to keep getting better at this one thing. Right, this one game that just it, it changes every year a little bit, but I, the skills keep carrying over, and it's fun to just kind of keep getting better. That's how I felt about Halo too. It's like I just kept getting better at Halo. The game kept being fun. And, uh, you know, my skills kept transferring over. I just kept getting better. You know, it's, it's like a sport you're playing. It's like getting go- playing golf. You might go to a different golf course, but your skills come with you. You know, you, you, you stay as good as you were at golf, and you keep getting better. And Call of Duty is like that for me. It's almost like a, you know, it's a hobby aside from gaming. You know, there's plenty of games that I play that don't come out every year, and I really enjoy them, but Call of Duty is a little bit different. You know, it's like I play the multiplayer every year, and I keep getting better at it, and it's it's really fun and competitive. I like it. See, a lot of people treat Call of Duty like they would a relationship, like a, a man who's a been... A bad relationship where yeah, your husband they, hates you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> See, check it out, all right? If, if, if you're a woman and you've been, you got your ass whooped or smacked around by your husband, and then you left him, and you met a guy named uh, Dave, and Dave smacks you around, right? And then you meet a guy named Hector, and Hector <laughs> smacks you around, right? You too, right? But just sound. And, and, and then and then you meet and then you meet a guy named Brett, and, and, and this woman's like, you too, right? He <laughs> meets a guy named Brett, and then Brett's and she's like, I don't want to fucking date you because all men are just like Dave. You didn't give Brett an opportunity, and see, Sledgehammer could be Brett. They they know that there's been a lot of negativity associated with this game. Yeah. They, I'm sure that from the ground up, they wanted to do something totally different with this. And if we just constantly believe just because it's Call of Duty is going to be bad, this could end, this could possibly be the best first-person shooter of all time. I just think that we should re- reserve judgment until this game comes out. Everybody's hating on it, and there's really no need to hate on it. The game yeah. looks beautiful. It looks gorgeous. You know it's a Call of Duty. You know it's made by a studio that's never handled the game. They got a lot. No, to they were they were they helped develop Modern, Modern Warfare, Warfare Three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they, yeah did. they did half. But here's a here's going back to your analogy. Ready? What if Brett, Hector, and Dave are triplets, and they're, they're related? <laughs> they're all related, right? And you know, two of the people of the family did the same thing, and they're blood related. What makes you think you want to go with the third one? He he might have he might have been raised by the other parent. <laughs> yeah. All right, touche. I'd like okay. to see the parents. <laughs> we have three distinct races of these brothers. <laughs> it, must have been, it must have been something in the. Food, I'm just trying man. to do the math here. What do these parents look like? <laughs> Where they come from? Oh, That's awesome. Man. I'm, on Call of Duty, I buy. I buy every single Call of Duty. I don't play them for the multiplayer. I play the multiplayer for about three weeks. Mm-hmm. I get bored of it. I don't play it anymore. I beat every single Call of Duty campaign, though. I enjoy their campaigns. Their campaigns wow. are awesome. And I will buy every single Call of Duty based off of that. That's I don't, awesome. That's I don't not like, uncommon, I don't think. I th- they make big, bombastic action movie-like campaigns. A lot of people like them. Yeah, but it, it, it's very uncommon because he said he only plays the campaign for two to three weeks. No, no, I play. I only play the multiplayer. I mean, I mean, I mean. I'm sorry, the multiplayer for a few weeks. That's yeah. very rare. Like, like uh, I got the game. I think I ranked up to level 23, maybe, and then I sold it. Yeah, See, I, think, that, that I, bet, is, I bet. like that's like more than 50 percent of the Call of Duty buyers. I mean, there's not millions of people playing Call of Duty. There's like a hardcore. It's not that I have something. People. It's not that I have something against their their multiplayer. They do a good job on all everything they do. I want bigger. I want bigger. And the, and Ghost was bigger. Like their maps were like probably the biggest Call of Duty maps I've seen. But yeah. I don't necessarily no, enjoy it because it seemed like there needed more people 
in some of the maps, it's like, wow, they're, 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 I'm running around for like 10 minutes not running into anybody, or some matches you'd run out of time on. So yeah. are you speaking as big, bigger in, as, as far as the scope of the game, as far as multiplayer goes? Yeah, more people, bigger maps. Not like Battlefield. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you could you could make it so everyone's running around, no vehicles, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. But now, make the maps now, bigger with more people. Nine to five. Now I know you heard this many times. It, it hasn't sunk it in yet. Size doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you wiggle on your joystick. <laughs> Let's see. I I like Call of Duty, you know. But like the thing is, when Black Ops Two came out, I think that was the last Call of Duty for me that like. I just had enough with it because, like, Black Ops 2 came out and, like, I, you know, did the campaign and then I, I did a multiplayer while I was doing campaign, right? So I did multiplayer. I prestige in three days, okay? I literally prestige in three days. And then at the when I got there, I'm like, I got to the point, I'm like, what do I want to do? Do I really want to go to next prestige? Do I really want to continue playing it? And, like, that, it got to the point for me where I'm just like, I realized that, like, after I did that so quickly, Prestige, I was just like, what was the point? I've been doing this for how many years now, Call of Duty? I think that's what got to me, and I think that it becomes a fun factor. If it's not fun for me, I'm not going to get any for Call yeah. of Duty, and that's why, for me, I'm waiting to see the gameplay trailer. If it's fun, I, I will admit, I'll be the first person to go, and, you know, I'll buy the game day one like always. You know, the Ghost is the first one I did not buy. I have all the Call of Duties. That's the first one I did not pre-order and did not line up to go get. That's the first one. Mm-hmm. Wow. So well, and that's that, under, that's understandable. It's very and that, understandable. that's the first one I rented. I didn't even buy that game. That's that's never happened for me for any Call of Duty game. You know, it's understandable to me too that even if they keep making awesome games, that people are gonna get sick of the, you know, that just that style mm-hmm. of game. People are gonna start wanting to play in League of Legends. You know, that's gonna get to be a more yeah. popular genre of gaming, or people are gonna want to start playing, uh, you know, you know whatever's next. First person shooters aren't always gonna be the top dog. I don't think. You know, oh. eventually. You know, another genre will come out, and people will move on to that. Even if, let's say, you know, RTS games, they were really, really popular in, like, the late 90s, early 2000s, and they kept making good ones. People just got sick of them. People just moved on to other types of gaming. And that might be what how COD goes out. Maybe they keep making good CODs, uh, but people just get kind of bored with first-person shooters in general and start moving on to the next thing, you know? I think the new thing is going to be um, co-op. Playing playing co-op uh, together online, like like Borderlands, for instance, yeah. uh, Destiny and Division, Destiny, and all that. Yeah. Or, 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 or it's a Call, multi, or Call it's of a, Duty. If they do that, that'd be sick. But they, they do won't. do that. No, no, no. I'm saying like co-op where people that you're playing against, different squads are actually online. Oh, you talking about Ghost Recon yeah. style? Okay. Yeah, but that's like the same. That's the same thing that they're doing with uh, Division and Destiny as well. Like you're going to be playing a. a, a Online co-op campaign, but then there's other teams that are going to jump in your game and you're going to fight with them. Yeah, that's bad. Genius. That's smart yeah. as hell. That is that is really a cool idea. Like, it, you know, being that's able to work gen. with your friends. <laughs> yeah, it really is. You know, that is a next gen idea, and I can't wait to, especially Destiny. I, I don't know both of those games. I'm really excited about. To be honest with you, one of the guys, one of my PSN buddies, uh, told me to ask you guys a question. I was playing Modern Warfare 2 earlier. And he told me to ask you guys, with this um, exosuit that you get in this new Call of Duty, do you guys think it's possible that you could have weapons embedded in the suit? Oh, yeah, that's coming into multiplayer. That yeah. that exosuit is going to be the new perk system. You're going to basically load out that exosuit to, you know, if you want to run faster, you're gonna. that's going to be a perk of the exosuit. Because there's three of them, higher. There's yeah, it looks like, of, well, we'll see. It looks like there's three, and then you'll be able to customize them further. Oh, I yeah, think. that makes perfect sense. So, like, if you want to be able to do the jump, or yeah. run faster, or they're even yeah, or quick climbing. draw, or steady aim. All of that stuff is easy to integrate into like a exosuit. You know, it almost oh, makes awesome. more sense. It makes more sense than having it as a perk for your player. Like, like all of a sudden you, <laughs> like all of a sudden you magical can magical legs. Yeah, except oh, that mech suit. Though, that mech suit better be like a kill streak. That, yeah, kill, a little badass kill streak too, because that thing looks. I weird. want them. That to, I want them cool. to get rid of kill streaks. I want them oh. to do kind of no 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 kind of like <laughs> kind of in the same aspect of how Titanfall is. Go play I mean, go you, play Battlefield Four, you hippie. No <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm tired of I'm tired of the whole kill streak thing because and that will do away with a lot of camping too. That's it's true. You literally just camping. sit in a building and get kill streaks up because yeah. they're sitting in the same building the whole time. It's too late for that. That's what makes Call of Duty call like Call of Duty. Yeah, so now it's too late. Like that's like their thing. So they have to do kill streaks. It yeah. just they gotta start it's making. It'll, it'll never go away. Yeah. 
I love that endorphin rush of hitting like one of those high call, kill streaks too, and like unleashing that. I like. I, got, that. I have something I want to discuss with you guys. This is part of Call of Duty as well. Um, Digital Foundry said that they did this research on it, and the resolution for that video is on the Xbox One is 1568 by 882, yeah. so it's 882p. So it's not 1080p. It's not se- it's not 720p. It's 882p. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think about that? And that's the lead console, which is kind of weird that they're going by as the lead console. And that yeah, I was disappointed about that. I was happy that they were showing so, Xbox One graphics, they, but they, they, they that. they're getting the DLC first again. They, they Probably. Now. But it's, they said it's on the Xbox One, like, and I think they already announced that that's the best console, but it doesn't make any sense that that's the best console if it's 882p. Well, you know, they, they would say that Call of Duty Ghost, I mean, Xbox One is the best console, too, before Call of Duty Ghost came out, but, yeah, but they said somebody's console. about to get arrested, somebody's about to get locked up. Yeah. <laughs> do, you think, do you think that they're, because, not too nerdy, you know that, yeah. Yeah, they are. Um, <laughs> so I could hear it on my head. Run, run, nine to five, run. Uh, I was about to run. I thought that was a my <laughs> Your internet can't save you now. <laughs> no, um, damn it. Damn police. Damn you. <laughs> you made me mess up. No, uh, what was I going with here? You're damn going it. with 882. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That was a good one. You just awesome. re- refresh my memory. Um, the cops are back. Really? <laughs> Leave it to the caps to ruin everybody's good time. Yeah. If, they, if, they, if they try to arrest you, tell them that they can't without a Novus Ordo Seclorum. <laughs> right? Do you feel that um, the Xbox is going to use the cloud thing? Because I know they just bought a green button or teamed up with them or whatever. You know that Pixar company? They just like paid them out or whatever, and they own them now. The cloud and that's who's... For what? For uh, Call of Duty, oh, like like they just bought green, they just bought like Green Button or something, and they're gonna be able to use their cloud system like way earlier than everybody thought they were gonna. Yeah, but like use it for what though? Okay, that's the thing. Like you have to keep in mind that all this cloud stuff that people always say, like Azure and stuff like that, and all the different things. Like you don't, it still depends on bandwidth, and uh, the internet isn't fast enough to really activate the cloud, so they can't use too much resources from the cloud to begin with right now. Like uh, so, so like they, they sold us a dream basically, it's a lie. It's pretty much I don't know if you guys seen the the leak footage of the PlayStation uh Hi, PlayStation Now. Oh yeah, they, that shit is service. Horrible. Uh, it, it takes a <laughs> to load, but once it plays, it's actually really good. It's really good. It's from really? what everyone's saying. Um it just loading. It takes a while to load the game to start it. That's what's being annoying. So for it's people. like loading the game into memory on the system, or yeah. So it's I don't know what's taking so long, but it takes a while to load. And after you get into it, then it's good. It works well. But hmm. people are pissed off that it takes a while to load. So it's not there yet. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be there for a little while. And so that that's what, how I feel about that. I mean, would they use it for Call of Duty? I wouldn't see why not because Microsoft told um, every company to use their cloud service, to use it. You know, that you could do it so they could do private matches, stuff like that, to use their cloud. So New kill streak idea, right? You get you get 15 kills in a row, and you can actually cut off your opponent's cloud service. <laughs> you go in there hey. with, like, wire clippers, and, like, snip, aha, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I don't really care if it's 844p or... Uh, as long as the game looks good, I don't really care. I, I look at the Xbox One version and the PS4 version of Call of Duty Ghosts. I can hardly tell the difference. Like, if you showed me screenshots, I might be able to pick out, like, maybe the particle of the smoke getting fired out of the PS4 weapon is a little bit more detailed, or, you, you know, maybe... You can tell the resolution, though, a little bit. I mean, uh, it not really. I mean, I think for a shooter side frame rate... Side-by-side, you, side by side, you can definitely tell, though. Maybe side-by-side, maybe side by side, but I don't I don't play the game side-by-by-side. Side. No, that's what I'm saying, but time. you said if you held it side-by-side... Wait, did... Screenshots, yeah, if I... <laughs> God. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I turned... I turn off the volume down here, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? I, I don't know. I play both games. Like, I play it on the Xbox One because the DLC comes out there first, and I play it on the PS4 uh, because I like the controller better, but I don't... Like, it, it feels the same. It looks the same to me. Like, I really... It, uh, how, how, how 100p you? doesn't make a whole lot of difference yeah, to me. The only reason why it makes a difference to me is because they're calling it the lead console. That's To me, yeah. why not just make them the same? Then? How are you going to call one that's not... The lead console, lead console. To me, that's because the thing. DLC will probably be coming out first. Just yeah, like that's, what, that's what I mean, though. Like yeah. you're calling it the best uh, console to play on. Though. Why is that? 
Yeah, but that's, that's on check. Xbox One because you get the DLC a month earlier. So they paid for it. Yeah. Yeah. Was, when I saw that Xbox, yeah. that Xbox insignia at the beginning of the trailer, I was like, shit. Because I had really hoped that this was going to be the end of that deal. I was hoping that we were going to start seeing DLC come out on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One at the same yeah. time. Now, so now, same oh, time hold on, Brian. Now. Now, now, this this footage was actually leaked first, and I don't know if they, they yeah. intentionally leaked the Xbox version. Yeah, yeah that was it. supposed to come out today. Yeah, yeah, but the thing was, I don't know if, if they were going to actually just announce the trailer and not show the Xbox One version. They had to come out immediately after that leak and release the footage that yeah. was leaked, and that was the Xbox footage. I don't know if they intended on just releasing the Xbox footage today or not. Maybe they were intending on releasing them both. That was the footage. They already released it now, I think. I think it's official. They released it during NBA yeah, they playoffs. They, so, they officially released it. They, that's what I'm saying. Like they, that was the video they are going to release on the Xbox One. That yeah, was the footage. Well, that it, they it, it, to do. It, it won't be better on the Xbox than it will on the PS4. That's for sure. I mean, PS4 is a more powerful system, and it's obvious. Now, I don't know. PS3 is a more popular system, and it stunk on the PS3. Playing Call of Duty stunk on the PS3. Yeah, it was obviously a ported version. But it's a little bit different this time around, Brian Rabbit. How so? The PS4 yeah. is more pow- powerful than the Xbox One. The PS3 was more powerful than the Xbox 360. The, the, the reason it's different, Brian Rabbit, is because every game that's a multi-plat performs better on the PS4 than the Xbox One. So yeah. that's how it's different this time. Well, that is different. They, no, they, what's different also party. is the party chat. Like, before, the reason why it was there is because you played as a group, you played with your friends with the party chat of the Xbox Live. It's yeah. not like that now because now the PlayStation service is actually pretty decent. A party chest, so you can't. Better, play I would say better than the Xbox Live. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. So now that's that's what makes it different. And now you can actually say, "Oh, let's play with my friends, have a party chat, and play." Before yeah. you couldn't do that on the PS3. It wasn't like that. That's so that's true. why it made no sense to have them as a lead-in console for multiplayer when you're really not playing multiplayer because you're not getting a chance to talk to your friends and stuff like that. So either way, it's disappointing. It's I, I was really hoping we were gonna get day and date. Uh, DLC for both. It goes to the highest bidder, obviously. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's something that obviously Microsoft has had in the in the books for a while. Yeah, uh, it's it's bought and paid for. So who knows when this, you know, uh, period of time between them and the Call of Duty brand is over? But hopefully it'll be sooner than later, so everything comes out concurrent for both systems, so you don't feel left in the dark on one versus the other when yeah. everybody should be able to enjoy it at the same time. Yeah. I, I totally agree. I'd, I'd really like to see them both come out at the same time. That's because a real bummer. I, I wanted that new uh, DLC. I went went uh, last week and got the Onslaught DLC, yeah. and I was looking at the new, and I was like, damn it, it's still not out. Devastation with the uh, Predator yeah, Kill Streak. Yeah, that's exactly the feeling I felt, Briar Rabbit. <laughs> Devastating. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you actually play it. It's not that good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, I thought Onslaught was pretty good. Devastation wasn't nearly as good. The best I thought the best map was the map that the Predator Kill Streak is on, but the Predator Kill Streak ruins the map. So. I, I really like the Onslaught DLC though. Those, yeah, I think it's those pretty four good. maps are like the best maps in the game now. Speaking of DLC, uh, me and Not Too Nerdy got into it in the comments a little bit. I made a video how I think that DLC should be free this year for Call of Duty. And I still kinda think I think that Not Too Nerdy, you made a strong point. But I still think that this year Activision ought to bite the bullet and release the DLC free for everybody. Can you can you re, restate your point about that? Uh, let me real quick. Let me I want to hear yours. Yeah, tell me yeah, why. Let me, real quick, I'm going to just say why I think this. The reason is is because this year Call of Duty came out on six platforms: PC, Wii U, uh, Xbox One, PS4, Xbox 360, PS3. The problem is is that the player base. You know, even though you've sold millions of copies of this, the player base is so spread out among these six places that the playlists are really empty this year. And it's not really Activision's fault. I mean, they released a, what I think is a good game on multiple platforms, but you know, not everybody's come up to the Xbox One yet or the PS4. You know, some people bought it for PC. Some people, you know, are still playing on their 360. It's just that this player base is really spread out this year. But that's a real problem for Call of Duty because you got all these playlists that just aren't filled out. So I said, you know, why don't you just make the map, and it's further exasperated when you have map packs that are paid for, right? So now I bought, let's say I bought Onslaught DLC. Now, a lot of people who are playing on the PS4 didn't buy the Onslaught DLC, so you're splitting that in, let's say, half. And then what if, you know, some people bought the Onslaught DLC but didn't buy the Devastation DLC? So you're cutting the player base into smaller and smaller segments as you go. If they just made all the DLC free for the entire year 
everybody would download it, everybody would be able to download it, and it would keep these small player bases uh, unfractured. So even though you have a smaller player base on the PS4, you know, it wouldn't be further segmented into who's got which DLC. Not too nerdy, you made a strong point, though. Um, well, first, I, I agree with you that they have to figure out a better system. Like, that's that's clear. Like, you're completely right that they have to figure out a better system. I just don't think DLC is going to be the answer because the problem with the DLC is this, that they have all these developers that have to get paid. They have to get paid because they're working hours on end, like on DLC. Why? Because people will stop playing their game if you don't have DLC. So they have to make new maps. They have to make new weapons. They have to make sure everything's balanced, and they have to test everything out. That takes plenty of manpower. That takes plenty of time. That takes plenty of money. And the only way you make money is off the DLC. Now, when you think about DLC, DLC are usually released, what, a month after a game is released, maybe six weeks after the game's released. So when you start to look at all these DLC, um, by then, six weeks after a game's released, the price for the game is starting to go down. Yeah. Right? Right now, if you look at Call of Duty Ghost, you can probably get that for $30. Okay? When it's all said and done, $10 of that, maybe, goes to the developer self. If you purchase it, if this is not even people that trade it in. I'm just saying if you even buy it, it's $10 that actually goes to the developers. Right. So you're, that's all you're getting for that. DLC is where you get the money back to pay for all of those developers. Now, if you want free DLC, for example, then that means that they're going to have to let go of a lot of developers because they're not going to need all those developers there. They're not going to be able to afford all those developers, so they're going to let people go gradually. When they let people go, you're going to have less people working on these DLC packs, which means it's going to take longer time and also it's not going to be as detailed as you want it to be because there's less people working on it. So like, that's just going to completely kill the DLC completely because you want it to look good, you want it to be balanced, well, then you're, you're going to have to pay for it. And I think that's one thing I never really argue too much with DLC. Sometimes the pricing may be an issue, the way they price DLC, but I always understand why they're charging DLCs because in order for you to get the DLC, there's people that make it. There's people that spend time and hours to make it. And if they don't work on a DLC, they might be on a cutting block to get fired. Or I agree off. with you wholeheartedly. Like I, I want to see developers make money. I, I don't support like uh, stealing games. Like I think if you, you know, you should pay for games. I think when DLC comes out, if you, you know, like pay for it. You know, and I, I want to pay for DLC. I want to pay for good games. I want to, I want to see people get rewarded who make great stuff. It's just that in this instance, I think that Activision would be smart to say we want to preserve the community of Call of Duty. We don't want them to have such a bad experience this year. So just bite the bullet, pay the developers, you know, and I understand it's going to cost them a lot this year, but it's a long-term strategy. By keeping gamers happy this year, we'll get them to buy Call of Duty next year, the year after, and we won't have to give them free DLC next year. And this year, when we give them the free DLC, we'll explain exactly why. We're doing this because, you know, it was a weird situation where a lot of gamers are still on the old consoles, a lot of gamers are still on the new consoles. We want you guys to have the best possible experience. You know, the other people who are going to get pissed off is people who bought a season pass. Those people are going to be pissed off. How are you going to give this stuff for free when I already paid for a season pass? You know, and it's a it's a sticky problem, but the problem is is that there's nobody to play with online, and that's a bad experience. And it's only it's only May. By what's this going to look like in August or September? You know, it's going to be I think it's going to be like yeah. that regardless on Call of Duty Ghosts because Call of Duty Ghosts is the borderline one. And same thing for the next one. It's the fact that there's still people playing on PS3 and there's people playing on yeah. PS4, vice versa for Xbox 360 and Xbox One. You're going to be caught up in that generation skip where there's so many people playing in, uh, in the last generation and this generation. We didn't have that problem with PS2 era because it wasn't like that for multiplayer. Now that you see that from PS3, there's still a lot of people playing on PS3. There's still a lot of people going to play there. So then when there's a DLC split, there's even more of a gap, and you just have to do that because think about that aspect alone, that those developers have to make not only this generation, they have to make sure all those maps and everything work for last generation. Yeah. So this, this especially is even more work than it would be if it was just yeah. for the console in this generation. That's, That's true. what I mean. Like, that takes even more people to make sure that both of them are working. Yeah. So, 
look at all the consoles that's on right now. Like that's a lot of consoles. It was a Herculean effort by Infinity War to get this game as good as it is on all the consoles. That's why they had to split it, it up to so three developers. They yeah. split it up for a reason because take it too much time and take it too much money. They, it's probably easier to focus and give these people more time because they're giving them such a like a small amount of time. They're they're running crazy over there. So that's yeah. why they spread it out to begin with. Yeah. So I see your point, and I I, I agree with your point. I. I just want them to do something, you know. I totally agree with you that they need to do something because yeah. that that's annoying if you go there and there's no you can't find anyone. Like yeah, it is, it's a bummer. Like I, I go to a free for all and there's 800 people in the world playing. Like that's not good. Yeah. Like you're not gonna have a good experience. You're not gonna have a good you know internet connection experience. You're not gonna have a good matchmaking experience. It's just a you know that's that's rotten. But that's you want to hear the irony though? There's yeah. way more people playing Black Ops too though. Yeah, I know. That's weird, isn't it? And there's still releasing DLC <laughs> A lot year. of people play Black Ops 2 on well, a 360, especially what I'm telling you right now. The, yeah. thing, the thing is, Briar, you, you, you truly do uh, speak highly of Call of Duty Ghosts because of you know how, how close and how tight they have the technical aspect of the game. Yeah. There are a much bigger majority of people who, who like me, think Black Ops 2 is just a better experience. Whenever yeah. I play Black Ops 2, it's always full servers. I mean, I never have any issue. Yeah, but there's still a lot of people. Black Ops 2 isn't available on the Xbox One or the PS4. It's still only available on the last gen systems, and a lot of people are still only have those consoles. Yeah, you know, so, well, it's it's you know, so much. It 80, 80 million worldwide. Yeah, PS3s. Yeah. yeah, and the other thing about Black Ops 2 is that this is the first time that they've ever supported a, a Call of Duty game this long? for more than a year. Yeah, and, and I I think that's awesome. Because if you are a big fan of Black Ops 2 and you don't like Ghosts, that's awesome. You're still getting DLC. I mean, it's shitty DLC, but it's DLC. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, let me ask you. Do you guys ever go back and play any of the old Call of Duties ever? Yeah, I try to. I, I love going back to World at War. I think that game was fun. I yeah. love going back to never, World never War played. 2. Never World played World War. Is War. Amazing, dude. It's just yeah. the most hacked one. I think that is the most hacked one. To be honest, it is. It's crazy. <laughs> World of War is the most hacked one there. Can can you find a decent game though? I mean, like if uh, I was it's hard. Game, you can, but it's hard. It's fun yeah. though. Like that one's just a fun experience because like the different style of weapons, different like the maps are different. You know, blow up people's back limbs and shit. Yeah, like the limbs blow up and stuff. That's freaking awesome, dude. Yeah, the limbs <laughs> blowing off is cool. I don't know why they didn't keep that going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was definitely the most gory. Yeah, it's definitely the most gory. Like. Uh, Call of Duty game. Yeah, and, <laughs> and, and the first even one the voices in it are like voiced by like real actors, so yeah. that was fun. The, the bouncing Betty, dude. That's all it's about. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. god. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 the next, the next retro that I buy, then World at War. I never played that. I think that was the first one that came out on PS3. And, Don't get uh, excited about the multiplayer at this point. I mean, the yeah. multiplayer is really hacked. It's bad. Yeah. It's funny yeah. though. What's that one map, Briar Rabbit? With uh, oh man, you're like an opposite sides, and as soon as it says go, the first thing you do, you have to dodge because everyone throws a grenade <laughs> for this fighter <laughs> directly across the map to kill people. Yeah, that was worse in in uh, Call of Duty Four because everybody had three grenades, yeah. and everybody knew exactly where to throw those grenades. Throw through an alley oh, over that awning. Oh place. my god, that was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, the best thing. I actually killed. Uh, five people out of six with a grenade. I I, I guess I just missed the last person, but when I Damn. did, I just threw the grenade up, and all you hear is the poof, and it's like I got five people. Oh, yes. See, I just use my hack and I float up across the map. Unlimited grenades. Dude, I used to love the hack for uh, World at War. You could go underground and stuff. Yeah. Where like you'll just fall through the ground, you run underneath the map and stuff. Yo, know, those are the best, man. Black Ops Two had one. If you jumped off the back of the boat on hijack, you'd spawn yeah. behind the yeah. enemy spawn and just be like, yeah. you waste them all because I'll be like running toward you. Yeah. Dude, I used to do that hack though, which is so funny. I used to do that. that oh, by the way, that's what that's the one I got banned from. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I used to do that hack play capture the flag. So I'll go underground, grab the flag from underneath the ground, and run underneath the back. <laughs> and go back to the you could fucking do that, really? Yeah. yeah. That game was broken, man. That was, that was <laughs> tough. <laughs> that was a really tough one. You guys see this? I, I'm watching all you guys, all the excitement and joy that Call of Duty has brought everybody. Yeah. It's really it's really sad that after all this time, 
people seem to be fed up with it. But look at all the joy and excitement and good times that everybody's had. With I'm having ghost. a good time with Call of Duty Ghosts. Yeah. You know, I know that it's popular on the internet to be down on Call of Duty Ghosts. I'll be surprised in two years if people aren't going so coming back and say Call of Duty Ghosts. That was a good Call of Duty. You know, it's solid Call of Duty. So that, that you make you make annual predictions. Is that is that your prediction? Every year, 2016. Every year, YouTube is down on the current Call of Duty. If you watch YouTube videos from last year, everybody was complaining about David at David Vonderhaar about how bad Black Ops Two it was. You look at you know all your favorite YouTubers; they were all complaining about Black Ops Two. This year, they're doing the same thing about Call of Duty Ghosts. They did the same thing about Modern Warfare Three. You know, it's every year they complain about the current game. They talk about because it's popular; it gets some views. You know, so I wish. I wish Cod May Player was here because I was going to talk about the subject because, like he said, he stayed in his video. So if you guys don't know about that, definitely go to Cod May Player's video where he talks about, um, like, MLG going mainstream. Oh, now that yeah. it's that uh, Call of Duty is going to be on uh, ESPN. Yeah. It's going to be an uh, event on that part day. Of the so, X Games. On, in the X Games, yeah. So it's going to be part of the X Games, which is kind of interesting, but I'm sure that right there is going to give people a boost to play it again. For the people that stop oh, yeah. playing, the people see that on TV on ESPN, you're gonna be like, "Oh man, that looks like fun." Yeah, they so might pick it up and play again. So, do you guys ever watch uh, competitive Call of Duty? Is that something you guys do? I uh, I, I YouTube the last championship. Yeah. It, it looked like chaos. I could I can't I couldn't understand how these guys were like the best in the world. I was like, I could be on this team. <laughs> but yeah, it looked like absolute chaos. I guess they were all so good that that the the skill gap was so short. Yeah. It, it just looked like a regular game. But I'm like sure if we, were, if we were in there, we would have got completely destroyed. Yeah, believe uh, that. The top, top KD for these guys is like, you know, you're at top of your game if you have like a 1.2 or 1.3 KD in the Call of Duty championships. Like, like those guys are really evenly matched. I honestly think the best competitive gameplay, like I don't see Call of Duty is like the best. I think the top Smash one Brothers. for me, it's fighting games. Like if you yeah. see fighting games one on one, like that's the real skill because one person versus another. But that's one thing. But then. I think me and Kyle Player debated this. Um, he said that, Kai said, why is Call of Duty going to be the one that's there mm -hmm. when Call of Duty doesn't bring in as much viewers, I don't think, as, you... for example, the most viewed one is League of Legends, without yeah. a doubt. That has 27 million players. But you want to talk about something that's hard to watch for somebody who doesn't know? That's like watching field hockey. It's like, I have no idea what the hell's going on here. It's like... What are you even doing? Yeah, but that's <laughs> why, like, I think that's why the most, the one that people watch more is, like, when it's Evo and stuff like that, when it's fighting games. I think you, that gets a lot of viewers. Did you see, uh, you know Hip Hop Gamer, right? Did you see his video at PAX where he got his ass whooped? And like, he, was, he was talking all this shit about, like, uh, these dudes that he was playing against on um, Injustice, uh, like, the, the DC fighting game. Yeah. And uh, all these dudes were lined up, and they were fighting him, fighting him, fighting him. This Asian dude came up and whooped the shit out of him. Dude. <laughs> whooped his bad. ass so bad. Was that Tyson? <laughs> was that yeah, Tyson? He was, yeah, yeah, and he was dude. still talking. He was still I, talking shit after that, and he gave him another round. Dude toyed with him the whole time and beat the shit out of him again. I you know, I heard I heard people like were lining up over there. I couldn't get loose to see that man. It's so much fun, man. A lot of people like, were seeing that. They're seeing the ultra, the ultra. Yeah, yeah, yep. yep. Street Fighter. Yeah. Like that stuff like that, I think is the most entertaining to watch because it's literally or the most skill. Because I think that that's one on one. It shows your the skill more. The other yeah. one for Call of Duty is definitely team based. You have to play as a team. Yeah. So communication. Much. It's communication, but at the same time, Call of Duty is one of those games. I still think that you can still carry your team if one teammate yeah. does that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll get a whole team on the back. Yeah, yeah. So but that's impressive to watch. I don't know. I love watching Call of Duty, competitive Call of Duty. I, I like watching like the strategies of these guys. You know, like how they're working the maps, the cutoff points, the head glitches they're using. I find it fascinating. I don't usually watch like an entire championship, but I definitely try and tune in for uh, like the early rounds when you see like the big skill gaps, and then the late rounds when you see like the championship, like the best of the best. Carl, I, I find it really good. I, I'm excited that it's going to be on ESPN. I, I watch you know, it. You know, I used to watch those Counter Strike. I think Counter Strike was like yeah, that, that was, was a good one of the biggest. That one. was like it's still it's huge. huge. It's I think that to me is like that just the most skill to see how quickly those people move those mouths through the, the, yeah, for those yeah. shots. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you a really question. You, you see, uh, you Call, Call of Duty is not going to be on Wii U. <laughs> uh, the new Call of Duty is canceled for Wii U. 
Oh, that, really? that makes sense. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why would you buy that game on the Wii? I don't, it's not I don't canceled, know. But they just never made it. <laughs> yeah. just not doing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys ever play uh, the old, old, old uh, Ghost Recon games like on the Xbox? Playing on the, the yeah, original Xbox? Games, yeah. Jungle Storm, Island Thunder. Now, those are the first first person shooters, modern, that I ever played. And they changed my life, man. I, I just remember how slow it was. It was absolutely... <laughs> yes. I thought those were third person. Weren't they third person? Ghost Recon? No, the, no they were first. The they're old first. ones were first, yeah. and then they switched it when it came to uh, Xbox 360. Oh, okay. I was I'm thinking the Xbox the 360. Original, I'm talking about on the original Xbox when internet was the cool thing to have. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, online shooters. It was called... Uh, uh, Island Thunder and Jungle Storm. Island Thunder, also the new name of my band. <laughs> nice little Jamaican mix. Really, really calm, chill, but it's fun. Look for the CD on iTunes. Oh, my <laughs> and uh, not too dirty. We got a way to find out if these fighting games actually bring in viewers. After we get done with the BC Thoughts, I'm up for some Mortal Kombat. I'm up for some Street yeah, Fighter. I still didn't get the game. Barbara's um, Capcom 2. When's the new up? Street Fighter coming out? The new Street Fighter Ultra. It's not till I think, August or September. Fuck you, you're dead to me. Talk- <laughs> yeah. Talking about fighting tournaments, did you hear that Smash Brothers is doing that instead of like Nintendo's yep. not doing E3 this year, but they're going to do a fighting tournament with yeah. Smash Brothers. That's cool. I'll watch that. And the rumor yeah. has it they're going to announce a new system. They might. There, people keep saying they might announce a new console. It, I, I would love to, to see like, uh, it's the supposed Nintendo to be a Fusion. Bro. That's I what I said last it, show, it, and you guys it, are like, hell no. I said that last it, it, it's not, I believe you said, hey guys, we haven't talked about Nintendo yet, and then everybody just kind of moved on. <laughs> that was two weeks ago, bro. <laughs> hey, I wasn't here last week on the show, so that's why I wouldn't agree with you. Yeah. I don't think they're going to release a new console at E3, or they're going to talk about it. I don't think they should. <laughs> no. well, Nintendo surprises people, so. <laughs> once, mean, Mario, yeah. once Mario Kart comes out, see what happens after that. Yeah. You know, they'll probably sell a lot of those bundles that are with Mario Kart. And not only that, but when you buy the bundle, you get Mario Kart and you get a free game based off the code. That's in the, you get to pick between four games, and you get yeah, them for free. It's only three forty nine too. So Yeah. I'm a, I'm a little disappointed that they're not having a press conference because I think they, they have an opportunity to get out in front of the public and say, hey, while you're playing your PlayStation 4 and your, your <laughs> Xbox One with no games on it, Check yeah. out what we have over on Wii U. We got Donkey yeah. Kong that's out. We got we uh, we got the new Mario Kart that's almost out. We got Smash Brothers. We got a Mario game. We got all this stuff that you can play right now or before Christmas this year. You know, not like, only, we got a not, strong lineup right now. Not only that, I would have liked to see them announce Zelda live, like because they are going to talk about Zelda. I would, mm-hmm. I want them to do that live, like show Zelda and have everybody freak out, which would well, be cool. The reason is this, ready? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm getting like. Say, like, anytime I go to these events, I go to, like, some of these events, and I do not think it's worth it if it's, they're not announced to the council. I honestly think Nintendo, even though people are going to look at it a bad way, I think Nintendo is probably doing the better way. Because at this point, when you don't have a console to announce or anything, there's no other features. The games is all you're going to announce. You should separate to make it more detailed, make sure it's perfect for each game, like the way Nintendo's can do with their Nintendo Direct. That's better, well, and not just that. The way Nintendo's going to let you go to every Best Buy around, there's certain Best Buys yeah, that are going to have and the games on the yeah. That's going to sell more copies to, to them than if they were to announce it at E3. To me, if yeah. you don't have a console that you're going to announce or any new, completely new feature, it's for Sony might be different because they might announce more details with the Project Morpheus, but if you don't have anything like that... In that PlayStation like that, Live service? If, yeah, if you don't have anything like that to announce... And it's like games that you have. You should seriously separate and start slowly, like announcing separate games, and let, you, like, you do different directs or something that shows the people more info on the game instead of rushing it for live. And never works out well. It never works out well. Anytime they do something live, something breaks the camera. Something always goes wrong, and you yeah. never get a chance to focus on each game. So what's yeah. the point? You know, I know, like. I know you're trying to do it for to make some oohs and ahs and stuff like that, but in reality, it, you're probably better off separating like Nintendo's and showing the people. The I game. agree with you. I agree with you. I just think that uh, Nintendo has a story right now that isn't being told. I think that they have the strongest lineup of any c- current console generation. I think they're, they've got the best games out there right now, and that story is just not getting told. Yeah. They don't, Nintendo just doesn't seem to be able to get it out there, and 
you know, I agree. You know, it's probably not a cost-efficient way of uh, using their money for Nintendo right now, especially if they're thinking about doing a new console next year. Let me, let me but I do think that. that Nintendo has, like, a really strong lineup right now. How well do you guys think it would sell if they if Nintendo remade an HD version of Mario 64? Amazing. I, I wouldn't buy it. Uh, I mean... What? <laughs> I, I, I played that game... I played, what, 15 years ago at this point? That's a long time ago. That game's got, like, old, outdated play mechanics. I think... I'm, I've moved I think, on. I, I, don't I, don't think, I don't think the play mechanics are outdated, Brian. That no? game's still... I mean, no, it has aged gracefully, and it that, still... That controller great. didn't even have two thumbsticks on it. The camera was... <laughs> It didn't need it. It was revolutionary. Hey, uh, Brian, <laughs> yeah. Brian, I know you're a fan of Call of Duty. You know, I know that Ghost featured fish moving away. Talk dirty play. to me. Talk but dirty to me. Talk more about you know, the fish. Oh, just, Riley. just to let you know, Mario <laughs> did it first. Mario did it first. Mario 64, when you swim, the fish move away from you. They did it. <laughs> You saw it here first. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I mean, I, I, remakes are fine. I, I generally don't go after them, though. If you give me it for free or for really cheap, maybe I'd check it out. But I'm not a huge Mario gamer, to be honest with you. I, I like, oh, like That might be why. Yeah. Mario 64 was one of the, the, the pivotal video gaming moments. It was revolutionary when it came out, but that was 20 years yeah, ago. It, it was going to be on the <laughs> Nintendo Revolution. You guys remember the, the original yep. name? Yep. Um, it, it, it released right next to Resident Evil 2, and I was such a big Resident Evil 1 fan that I went inside Blockbuster Video. You guys remember those? I went inside Blockbuster, and uh, there were two kiosks side by side. One was Resident Evil 2, and the other was Mario. And at the time I was a teenager, I was like, Mario can kiss my ass. This Resident Evil skin. And then I started looking over, and I saw what was going on on the screen, and that was the first time I, actually, I ever held a real analog. Yeah. The, the Nintendo's Nintendo 64 controller was the first analog controller. And it just made perfect sense, and that game blew my mind. If they remade that for the Wii U, I'd be more excited to play that as a as a truly next nut. Well, I guess half didn't and they, half. Didn't year. they already put it on the the uh, DS? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a it's a slightly better. I have it. It's a slightly better version than the one on the 64, but not really noticeable. I'm talking about an HD version, one that looks. What are you they going to upres though? There were no there were no. Textures in that game. I'm not saying uplift. I'm talking about a re- I want a remake, but um. So I want you're, to talking about, about, you're talking along the lines of like how they did Wind Waker. Yeah. It was like a remake, but it was done right. They like literally revamped the whole My damn game. My kid's still playing it. Right. He loves that game. The remake. Yeah. He loves it. Is it just me or, or is not too nerdy smiling his ass off right now? It's a, it's a camera effect. It's not really happening. <laughs> 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 So what else? What else happened today? I I'll be honest with you. I was totally consumed by Call of Duty news. Like checking out that trailer. I must have watched that trailer fifty times. Today is uh, May May the fourth. Yeah, yeah. May the fourth be worth it. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. I like that. See, that's, yeah, little, just, oh, like, like, oh yeah. Right <laughs> Not too nerdy, my ass. <laughs> Speaking of Star Wars, yeah, he's entirely too fucking nerdy. Uh, <laughs> Star Wars, did you guys hear the news on Episode Seven that uh, oh, yeah, the uh, screenshot or the, uh, the picture of the cast? Yeah, Harrison yeah, Ford. Cool. Um, I'm trying to think of his Carrie name. Fisher, Harry Fisher, Luke Fisher. Hamilton. I don't want to watch it. You said you said Luke. I don't want to watch it. Hamilton. What? Lando's not in it. What the Lando? hell? Lando? They're not bringing Lando? Lando not for this one. Yeah, was, uh, did you guys see the Lego Movie? No, I heard it's amazing, though. It is. There's a part with Lando Calrissian in that movie that is absolutely one of the funniest things I've seen in a theater in, like, the last two years. Like, he is, like, this suave dude. He's, I think he even references Colt 45. Like, it is It is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. You've seen that Colt 45 commercial, right, with Lando in it? Or... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Lando yeah, uh, Calrissian is great. Mark Hamill, um, the original cast... And then they got these new guys. I, I'm trying to remember the guy's name, but if you guys saw the the uh, European movie, the British movie called um, Attack the Block, about oh the- yeah, that was great. Oh yeah. Do, yeah. do you remember the the main character, the black kid named Moses? No. Yeah, he's 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 one of the main guys. He's, in the he's one of the movie. main characters in this new movie. He's a Jedi, and I'm thinking this is going to be like Jedi Academy type stuff, where uh, Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford they they kind of pass the torch to these new kids, so that. I guess they're paying respect to the original, yeah. but they, they did say that um, 
like the video games are not canon now, the comics are not canon. Oh yeah, all the stuff that happened after, like all the books and stuff. That all the books are not canon now. Yeah. That imagine how that, imagine that, how that writer feels. You know, it's going to be like, they're switching a lot of things that's making it very interesting. And it, um, For example, like Obi-Wan, right? Yeah. His daughter, he supposedly had a, a daughter, a mysterious daughter that you're supposed to meet. That's what the rumor is, that they're going to meet this uh, girl, and she's African American too. Dude, you know oh, how you know that guy got down. That? Come on. <laughs> what do you <laughs> say? Africa, I, say no, I say that you know <laughs> Obi Wan got down. That's he, not, he, that dude's he, in the universe, if you know what I mean. He, he, <laughs> he traveled across the universe to get that snappy nappy. Dude, <laughs> the Jedi's are like dirty sailors. Yeah, and he kept a hush hush too, man. That's <laughs> messed up. <laughs> Jedi oh, mind didn't tell no one. <laughs> <laughs> the mother didn't even know what happened. He just I mean, he, 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 he looked at her, and as soon as her clothes came up by themselves, he had her. <laughs> <laughs> and then, look, she came over and said she's pregnant. He's like, no, you're not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not the father. No child support. <laughs> <laughs> he said no child support. Uh, <laughs> it's getting weird. That's a, that's a real reason why he disappeared. Just saying. <laughs> Alimony payments. He was totally ditching child support. He faked his death. That's what really happened. They're gonna they're, they're gonna let us know later on. You know? Are you guys? Are you guys? Are, are you guys big Star Wars fans at all? I really like the original series. I didn't yeah. like the new stuff too much. I, I think every, I think we all concur. Ditto. I, well, I like the third uh, episode three. It was the best out of the, like the new ones. I thought they they did that pretty well, just to see transition wise from happy Darth, and you really kind of see why he turned the way he was, Darth Vader. Mm-hmm. I wanted to punch his ass in the face. Yeah, I just like that actor. The actor saw transition. So crazy. I don't think the actor was. I don't think Hayden Christensen did a good job. I just think that you just saw. The way it was, like the anger, you saw the anger inside, and why he did it. He was doing it for a different reason. That's all yeah. it was. Besides that, obviously the first three movies were the best. I like Return of the Jedi, but yeah, I think Return of the Jedi for me was the best. You guys are crazy. Empire Strikes Back is like it's scary. Like everybody yeah. knows that. It's not even yeah. like a questionable fact. Look yeah. it up on the I internet. Agree. Right I agree. I <laughs> agree. <laughs> He says not. He says not even a questionable fact. God damn! It's like the sky is blue, and Empire Strikes Back is the best of the original Dude, trilogy. It's all about the Ewoks. Oh my yeah. God. It's all about the Ewoks, man. Yeah, them little fucking things can kiss my ass. <laughs> hairy bastards. This just in: not too nerdy is a furry. <laughs> <laughs> all all right, right. So, what else we got this week? Oh, we also got anyone else by the Twitch live stream for the PlayStation 4. Yeah, I haven't tried it out yet. Have you tried it out yet? Yes, it actually looks good for some games. Uh huh. Some games it doesn't like. It did not look good at all for Resogun. All right, and you it have lagged. you have badass internet, so it's not you, yeah. you can't play this <laughs> on the internet. It had like little squares in it, like throughout the whole thing, which looked kind of pixelated, so it didn't look good. But it's weird because you would think a faster paced game will look weird. Because Blacklight Retribution, I believe, will be faster, and that one didn't lag at all, and it looked good, So, which was kind of weird to me. So, besides I, that... I got a question. Yeah. What do you guys think of the quality of this, um, the, the picture and video gallery of the PS4 now? now can, for we, those, can we finish the, talking about what we were just talking about? No, that relates. <laughs> that that kind of relates. It's along, it's along the same lines. What, it kind of relates. For those who for those who don't know, if you're playing a game on the PS4 and you double tap the share button, you'll immediately start recording video of up to 15 minutes. Yeah, can you can you specify? Because it is completely random for me. Sometimes it'll record the last 10 minutes. Sometimes it records the last like 13 minutes. It's like you guys know they have to set it up right now. They have then options you can set up. No, I didn't know that. I will check. No, I didn't know either. Like, it's 5, 10, 15. No, I actually think it goes by. Lower minutes, but it definitely has. You can set up the time, how far back you want to record. You yeah. also can set up the tap. If it's double tap, you can set up. Yeah, that was there before, I think. Not too nerdy. Uh, they, they announced it now. Now, as soon as you press it, it explains it. It says, yeah. explains how to use it now. It okay. gives you like a little thing to to say what's the difference between the taps. Like I, will, whenever I double tap it, and then I go and look to see the the video clip, it's just random lengths. It doesn't seem to make oh, a whole lot of sense. Because uh, in order for you to end the video, you have to tap it one more time and then click on the upload video icon. But I thought it was recording the last 15 minutes, like 15 minutes. 
before I hit I double click the button. No, when you double no. click it, that's, you're that's recording from that it. point that's, on. That's, that's yeah, fuck that. I want to show what I just did. I don't want to like. I'm not no, predicting that I'm about also, to do something awesome. I, no, <laughs> it also keeps, it also keeps track though. The 15 minutes before though. Oh, okay. That's so how do you record it, that? Yeah, how do you that's, access that? <laughs> that's what, how do you record that? No, that's automatically set up. You go back. That's why you ever notice if you go to your video files, you see so many extra videos that you didn't know were there. It always that's records it. That's because I'm always trying to bring up the score on Call of Duty and hit the select button, but yeah. that's now the share button. Yeah, you could go back and you'll see it. It's always at the main top video on there. That's the one that was oh, okay, so recorded. So if I stop playing and go directly in there, it'll show me... Yeah, it'll show up to 15 minutes before. Now, sometimes uh, it screws. That didn't happen to me. That didn't happen to me at all. Um, I actually tried to do that, and I went into the gallery to see if the last 15 minutes of gameplay was recorded. And there was nothing there. Here's the problem. Sometimes it's affected by if they stop the video. That's what I want to talk about. They have the option to not let you show clips like... Uh, Cut scenes and stuff like that. So sometimes that counter stops anytime you encounter any of those situations where the developer didn't want you to record that part. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So this is why, it's for me, this whole HDCP thing doesn't matter. I still have my alternate version because I already noticed that Child of the Light, there's certain parts of it that they wanted to block you off from recording. Does that and work on right? Twitch too? It will it not broadcast on Twitch? <laughs> Well, Twitch, you already see that. If, save uh, you exit out of the game, double tap, and go to the main menu, mm -hmm. it will block it on Twitch. They won't stream that part. What the fuck? Why not? They don't stream you going back <laughs> to the main menu. That, it's blue on Twitch. If you ever know it's a live stream, it'll go blue, and it says, like, it'll be, I forgot what it says, but it has, like, a little uh, square triangle X and all that to show the different shapes of the places, but it puts a blue screen menu. It won't show them the main menu. I understand why they do that. Like they don't want to. They don't want to get like maybe cut scenes out there, but it's gonna get out there anyway. So the, yeah, they kind of so, just. That's the reason why I didn't really care for his HDCP update. I knew they were gonna do that. That's why I'm yeah, like, yeah. keep the He's same. Right, way I this is day one. I I knew that. That's why I'm like, I just got the connection there, and more developers are gonna use it too. So, I was yeah. I was actually really shocked though when I saw the quality of footage that you actually can save with the console. And I was thinking about the people out there who, who might aspire to do YouTube one day who don't have capture cards or have the equipment to capture. The PS4 capture quality for games like Call of Duty is damn near close to 1080p. I'd say probably, you know, a, a slightly degraded version. Mm -hmm. But the animation was on point. I mean, you didn't see any skips in animation. You can take these files and export them to a, micro, I mean, to a, a flash drive. And, uh, you know... That's awesome. Like you can you can take it off of your PlayStation 4 and upload it to YouTube off of your computer. That's awesome. Or you can just upload it directly from your PS4 to Facebook. So yeah, you, who's you, gonna do that? You can you can <laughs> well think about it. Like if, if you use the Share Factory and you edit a film and you make it real snazzy and jazzy and you upload that to Facebook, can't you upload it from Facebook to YouTube? Yeah, oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Facebook has a part that says send to YouTube. You can send so, it. You can share it with YouTube. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a way for people to start their own YouTube channel who don't even have a PC. I got a question for you guys. I was trying to mess around with that share factor. Cod made players back, and I know he, he's been messing around with it, too. Cod made, can you hear us? He's been yeah. messing around He's been messing yeah. around on Pornhub. Hey, so, hey Cod made. So, <laughs> what I tried to, I, what I wanted to do was, like, go through the whole, like, editing process on share factory and do a voice recording, like, do the whole thing. And just to tr see how it goes, but when I tried to do a voiceover on Call of Duty content, it wouldn't let me. Did anybody else? Was anybody else able to do a voiceover? You can do it afterwards. You, uh, yeah, yeah, record yeah. your uh, your gameplay and then go to Share Factory. It'll right, show. I was doing it most... inside Share Factory, and it said that this this content is not you're not allowed to do it on this content. No, I've Call done it. it. You did it for Call of Duty. Specifically? Yeah. Okay. You can, maybe, yeah, you can maybe. add a little face cam too. You can add the face cam to your live commentary on. Yeah, the video. that's really cool. I'm down with this, man. Like I, you know, I'd like to see people, you know, use this to get on YouTube. You know, really get their channel started. That's, I mean, that's awesome. Only well, one, one problem though. The one problem for me is the bit. Don't rate. throw salt in our game. You <laughs> 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 we don't need a voice of reason here. If when you when you I I, I took out the different. Have anyone upload a video to see what it is? The quality. It's nah. the bit rate. It's a bit rate that that's what really makes your video detail or not. You could have a 1080p video. I could have a 1080p. If your bit rate's low, yeah. once you look at it, it's going to not look like good quality. And that's a, it's a low bit rate. They have to do a low bit rate so it can run the game while you're doing it or it can run the system. 
So that's the whole reason why the external ones are better than the internal ones. Yep, the quality is not going to be the same. Yeah. So that's the only difference. The quality is good for people. You got and you want to just yeah, get started. absolutely. Yeah, oh, that's no, definitely yeah. great for people that don't have it though. A lot of people I've, I see all the time in my kind of comments. You know, like I, you know, I'd like to sort of get my YouTube channel started. I'm just waiting to save up money for an Elgato. You know, not everybody who wants to start a YouTube channel has money for you know all the equipment it takes, like microphones and stuff like that. The PlayStation 4 right now allows you to start a YouTube channel basically with no other equipment. You know, I would. Hopefully you have a PC so you can use the USB function because that seems a lot easier than uploading to Facebook than to YouTube. But even Not then, mention, I mean, you can the whole process now you can do off your PlayStation 4. That's cool as hell. Also, did you guys know that the team behind Share Factory is actually part of the same team that made Sony Vegas? Vegas 12. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh so really? That's, that's why it has so much deep functionality in there because they've done this before and it's mm-hmm. Sony. This thing is awesome, man. Yeah, I've cool. never I've never even opened it yet. I've never messed with it. I was gonna pretty good, like for Child of Light. I was gonna do it, but then I was like, forget it. I was like, I'll just put it on my computer. Well, for us, it's so much easier, right? Because like, yeah. your, yeah. your workflow is there. You know how to make yeah. a video really quickly. But for somebody just starting off, I mean, these are cool. This is some cool, cool stuff. I really hey, one thing. I'm gonna be taking those transitions off that and put it on Sony Vegas. So yeah. a lot of those transitions that they have, they're custom to the games. I'm going to be taking that. Like, so just, those play it and capture it onto your capture card. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to cut it. it and put it up there. Those pirated tr- transitions will fit right in nicely with the pirated version of Sony Vegas. <laughs> hey, I have the real deal for Sony Vegas. Me and Sony, I got the real one. Everything else, though. <laughs> Everything else is fucking pirated. Microsoft? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is real Windows. God made, speaking of Microsoft, it was really fun watching you bash that PC and then you actually peed in it. That was awesome. Yeah. Hey, you guys got a peanut <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't gonna show me pissing in it because I want to get <laughs> I don't want to get flagged. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you would on that one. Yeah, that was funny though to see that go fly. Your neighbors are probably like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, they don't like me anyways. So. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it'll break like that right away. That was good. You got some good breakage your first time. <laughs> yeah, it was satisfying. It was a satisfying <laughs> level of destruction. Oh, uh, that, uh, that was my second try. try. Yeah, my, my second, that was my second try. I had a first one to fucking break before that. <laughs> well, that's, I had that's some what practice. That's what he does, man. That's great. <laughs> Hope you never want to get a sponsorship by Dell. You just... <laughs> you <do that. laughs> Oh man, I, I, they should give me a partnership. I was, you know, showing everybody how to clean out their fucking systems. <laughs> That's right. You got all the bucks out of that one. Hell yeah. <laughs> Virus free, <laughs> sanitized. <laughs> it was funny though, because it was still kind of together. I went to go plug it back in to see if it worked. It fucking blew up on me. <laughs> oh, when it was full of water, it had an issue. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, it is Windows, you know. Let's just say. Oh, I knew like like a Windows water was coming in. <laughs> what else we got this week? Are we wrapping it up? We got anything else we want to talk about? Hey, did you guys know that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is coming out? <laughs> Dude, no oh, shit. Be there, be there, be there. Oh, did you guys already talk about the, uh, the deal? I mean, the pre-order bonus you get? No, I didn't. What? What is it? Oh, okay, when you go to GameStop, you know, go pre-order the game, and they'll give you a free uh, personalization pack for Call of Duty Ghosts. You go on uh, CallOfDuty.com slash personalization pack, type in the code that's on your receipt, and w- on May 14th, they'll give you a free personalization pack that's the theme of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Call of Duty Ghosts and Black Ops 2, there's personalization packs for both. Yeah, I forgot about Black Ops 2. Yep. that's I, I like that stuff. I like the one for Call of Duty Ghosts that worked for Black Ops 2, that uh, ghost gun camo. That was the coolest gun camo in the game. Yep. I'm trying to play some damn games tonight, all right? Who wants to play something? We can fight. We can shoot. What's happening, baby? I'll play a little bit. What do you want to play? Well, it doesn't matter. We can play Ghost. I mean, I got, you know, the DLC now, so we can run it. Or we can play Battlefield. We can play Street Fighter. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, I'll play Battlefield before I break the disc. Anyone want to play? <laughs> <laughs> that might be fun to play a little Battlefield. I actually haven't played that game in... Months now. You guys want to play some uh, multiplayer wedding wedding player 2014? It's no, no, fun, I, I, I've already done that. I'm all, no, no, I'm, it's I'm all super fun. It's super fun. I swear to God. I'm all out of money now, Brian. <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> you 
you'll understand in a couple years, buddy. <laughs> We're two weeks out. We only got two weeks left. We we recorded a video last night. I'm not even sure I can I can upload it because I was like. I, all I did was complain about how much money a wedding costs. Oh, yeah. Jan's going to beat that ass if you upload that video. What's that? I said, Jan's going to beat that ass if you upload that and video. She was sitting right next to me while I was saying it. She was like, right here. <laughs> was, was she applying that pinch? No, so she totally like, like three or four times while I was talking. <laughs> it totally hit me. I don't even know if I can upload it. If I do upload it, I might disable comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm man. Sure if I will. I'm I'm really uh, excited for you, Briar. I know you you live way out in Connecticut, but um, uh, the fact that you're getting married on my anniversary, man, that's really it's some things totally are totally planned it that way. I mean, how if we, if we gave her got married this day, I want to get married this day too. God damn it, it is not <laughs> negotiable. So now you got <laughs> if you guys aren't married, now you all have a date, okay? That's right. <laughs> my anniversary is that weekend, actually, which is crazy. Wow. That's funny. Which is See, super insane. This is awesome because. If any one of us ever forgets an anniversary, yeah. the rest of us will just say, hey, man, don't forget. Don't the forget. Anniversary's coming up. <laughs> Hell, we well, I'm not like engaged or discount. married, so I'll have to. Know, of You're just a lonely guy. guy. I'm sorry. The, the, the Bachelor. Maybe I mean, we can get like a group discount on... Uh, uh, Mail order brides. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Where did that come from? <laughs> I've already got one, but if I, did, if I didn't have one, what country are we talking about? Can we, like, edit that and put that in the intro? <laughs> Mail order brides? Hey guys, welcome to the BC Talk Show. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. This was a good show. I I had a lot of fun this show. You guys want to talk about what you're doing next this upcoming week? I'll I'll go ahead and get started. All right. I'm I'm going to be playing some old Call of Duty, man. I want old to, Call uh, of Duty. I you're mean, gonna I, see how broken that shit was. Yeah, I mean, I am like, <laughs> playing Modern Warfare 2. There's no feeling of nostalgia you have other than seeing somebody flying 30 feet above you sniping. I feel nostalgia until I get noob to for the 30th time. Yeah, I mean, that really pissed me off. I had to back out of the game. I'll be playing that. Uh, I'm going to be playing some Ghosts. You know, I'm really enjoying the Onslaught DLC. How about Black Ops 1? Have you played Black Ops 1? It's it's in the mail. I, 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 uh, uh, I let my kids today hook up the Xbox 360 and uh, Tony Hawk's, what's it called? Um, the one that comes with the big stupid skateboard. Oh, yeah. What was that? Oh, that, what was that called? It's, it's, it's brand new, right? My mom bought it for them last it's year. It's brand new? Oh, oh. Yeah, they, yeah. they just opened it up. They've had it. She bought it for them last year. And I, I was telling them, I said, you don't even want to hook this up. It's absolutely terrible. And Brett's like, Dad, please, I want to skate. <laughs> Played that shit for about 20 minutes. It came back out and just threw the skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun, funny to watch them try, though. It looks so goofy not going anywhere, leaning back and forth. <laughs> Put some wheels on that thing. Get them outside. Get some and, sunshine. And check it out. No <laughs> was on it. She said, Dad, I know how to skate now. I said, no, honey. Real skateboards have wheels. <laughs> and pain. She's like, Lots look, just like in Back to the Future. <laughs> Did you guys see uh, the, the Nova Knows Best with her uh, little uh, sea background with her on the beach? <laughs> that was funny. No, I didn't see that one. Those when videos she, are great. When she, uh, yeah, Thanks a lot, not too Yeah, yeah. I love it. I mean, 9 to 5, you keep leaving comments, man. I appreciate it. That, that, that was hilarious when you brought up Briar in the, in the one. I was I was watching this right before work, dude. My chest was hurting. I was laughing so hard. Was that the one on the stereo headset? Yeah. 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 yeah I saw that. Hey, there she is. <laughs> the star of the show. Wow, I'll let you guys know how bright my lights are. I look barely noticeable. <laughs> <laughs> Turned into a damn dinner plate. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, uh, not too nerdy, what are you going to be doing this week? I am going to be playing uh, MLB The Show. So that comes out Tuesday, so I'll do an unboxing video and I'll play that. I'm actually going to be live streaming that for a while on uh, Twitch. So, I'm going to be picking that up too. I want to I want to get you in a multiplayer game. Yeah, man. I'm always the Yankees though. But I guess no, no, I'm the Yankees. Oh, okay. <laughs> can, we, can we do Yankees versus Yankees on that? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. No, you're cool. uh, you said MLB The Show 2014? Yeah, whatever yeah. it's called. MLB, yeah. yeah. Now, uh, there's going to be another, um, a, a couple more games coming out for PSN, uh, PlayStation Plus this month. You guys, make sure you watch this video that's going to air tonight at midnight. The weekly update this week is going to be ridiculous. 
There's a lot of free stuff coming out for Xbox uh, players, PlayStation users, and we got some really good games coming out this week, so stay tuned. All right, cool. Okay, not too nerdy. What are you talking about? And also I have, um, like always, Warframe Wednesday, different news topics. Are you gonna, oh, wait. I want to talk to you about this. I'm sorry to interrupt, but are you going to keep doing Warframe one day, Wednesday, or are you going to... You said you might be leaving YouTube, going I, to Twitch. I might be leaving and go to Twitch for a while, but I, I think this week I might keep it because I'm going to be doing MLB The Show a lot this week, a lot. So on, and Twitch. on Twitch? So okay. that's going to be on Twitch. And after that, I think every Wednesday, Thursday, I'm probably going to do, like, you know, maybe or just Wednesday, Warfare Wednesday. But definitely for the time being, I'm going to play a lot, stream a lot of those baseball games and stuff. Like, cause there's, I'm probably going to do, like, a whole season or something like that. And that's probably better to stream it. On over there than actually put on YouTube and flood yeah. you know, videos. Yeah, that's a long video, but uh, that game that game has been a lot of fun in the past. Yeah, and uh, Amazon Fire TV. I'm finally gonna do a product review. I was supposed to do it last week. I had a video made and everything, and then it. Amazon announced that they had a partnership with HBO. Oh really? So Amazon, Amazon got a partnership with HBO, so not only do they um, have the HBO Go app now included with it, it's gonna come, and I think in two weeks it, it's. It'll download to it. Yeah. They're also gonna have um, like special season, the first couple seasons of every show on from HBO for free on Amazon Prime. Everything but Game of Thrones. But they have like the whole season and the whole series of like Sopranos are gonna be there. Whoa, they have, wait, like, wait, wait. All these... You skipped over something that was pretty. They're not gonna have Game of Thrones on their Game HBO. of Thrones. The only one that they they're not going to include inside uh, Amazon Prime for Amazon Prime members. Everything right. else, though, you're going to get the whole, like, for example, Sopranos, all those type of shows. Yeah. If the, ser- if the series finished, you have the whole series there. That's HBO Go offers that everywhere, don't they? No, I'm not saying H- HBO Go is the app, not just HBO Go. I'm talking about separate. This is for Amazon Prime members. It's oh, okay. Free- so you don't have to have HBO Go to get all these. have HBO. That's for. awesome. So that's going to be just for Amazon Prime members. So that's why, like, I'm like, crap. Soon I found out that changes my review. That, that will actually be a great feature for that Fire TV to have that. So yeah, They just keep adding value to Amazon Prime. Yeah, so that's something that separates them from Netflix and Roku. Yeah, so, we didn't talk about that. How much is Amazon Prime annually? It's $100 now. They moved up to 100 So that's why, I mean, unless you have someone that's a student somewhere, it's half price, but I'm still listed as their student price. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> you just said that out loud on the internet. No, I, can I am a student still. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a student of life. <laughs> I need to find somebody with a coat and has Amazon Prime. <laughs> so, what kind of prompted this change from YouTube to Twitch? Like, what what's been on your mind about that? What do you mean for what I'm changing? Yeah. Uh, the reason why I'm changing is like. I feel like I, I used to do a lot of gameplay footage, like full walkthroughs. You saw that with uh, Infamous, stuff like that. You know, I flood too many videos on the channel. So I'm still going to do that for, like, main games, but there's no point in me. There's a lot of games I play on the side, and I stopped yeah. flooding YouTube with it, and you'll see, like, small footages, and some people are like, oh, what, I want to see the whole gameplay of it, you know? Mm-hmm. But it's a game that it's not as popular. I didn't want to flood it on YouTube. So now I figure, you know what, I can put that on Twitch, People will watch you live, or they could go back and see an archive to see yeah. the full thing. I don't have to edit it. It's a full thing, and they could fast forward to the gameplay that they want to see the part of it. So I figured that's probably the best thing to do. A lot of but people don't know about that about Twitch, but you can archive your broadcast. Yeah. Off of the PS4 now, too, which is nice. Yeah, and like that's the thing, like especially a game like a baseball game. You know, Every game's different. Yeah, I could show some on YouTube, but then what about other games in the series? If I'm playing in the whole season or something, people might want to see it, so I could post it on Twitch and just, you can follow me like that on Twitch. So. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that baseball game, too. I might, I might be watching you. Maybe, hopefully I'll be playing you in some of those streams. Hey, yeah, man, that'll be good. We'll get a little uh, game over there going. That'll be nice, man. Yeah, that would be a good. A little change of pitch, strike you out. Sit down on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't fooling me with the change up, man. Yeah, I got you, bro. <laughs> Nine to five gamers, what are you up to this week? I'm going to finish uh, playing uh, Trials Fusion, or attempt to finish it. If not, I'll break my remote before I do finish yeah, it. But, uh, that game is hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to... I bought Contra for on my Wii U, and I also got... Uh, what else did I buy? I bought a bunch of like old Which retro... Which version of Contra? Punch-Out... Uh, Super Contra. Super and Contra. then I bought uh, 
yeah, I bought uh, um, Punch Out. I'm going to use both of those for videos this week. And then I'm going to start um, my Resident Evil, but I think I'm going to do like uh, uh, Not Too Nerdy just said and put it all on Twitch. I'm just going to Twitch the whole Resident Evil. Yeah. You do like highlights. So I like uh, 9 to 5. I like when you do kind of long form content. Like your Fez Let's Plays or your uh, Donkey Kong stuff. Like it's, Donkey Kong is a good example because I don't really. I don't care about Donkey Kong that much. It's not my cup of tea. Yeah. But I watch those videos because during those videos. You're kind of half concentrating on the game, but you're also kind of letting this kind of like loose stream of consciousness flow out of your mouth, and I find it really interesting. I think it's some of your best content because you're not you're not limiting yourself. You're I don't know. You're just kind of you're being who you are, and not I, I like that stuff a lot. I think those are some of your best videos. So maybe you can yeah. t- do that on Twitch, but just kind of cut out some of your favorite clips out of that and put that on YouTube. The thing is, is I wanted to I was gonna do my Donkey Kong every Friday. And it's ending up being longer than I would like it to be, so it's like I don't want to wait to play Resident Evil. I actually want to start it, and I didn't want to do two walkthroughs at the same time. Just do two, like a, a big two-hour video. Did you want to see the game right now? Yeah, yeah. I was trying not to laugh. I was, I, I, he almost broke my focus. I'm like, damn. Can I, hold up. Can I do that? <laughs> Cadmate player, what do you got coming up up this week? Um, probably posting some daylight game footage, uh, go over some new gaming news that I got already written down in my notebook, and probably do some trolling on GTA 5 since I got an Xbox 360 now. Nice. I'd like to see some troll videos. I, uh, that's always a good time. Just don't do it to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I might do a new update of my setup since I've changed it up a little bit. Love that. I watch setup videos like on the regular on YouTube. Okay, what the fuck is that? <laughs> um, I guess I'm a legal alien. No, I'm just kidding. It, it lip tracks too. Really? Oh, really I cool. had no idea. That's pretty damn cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is also what happens after the show. Last, last week after the show, we just start randomly muting people. <laughs> All right, that sounds great. I got all sorts of ideas for video next week. We're going to see how much time I have to actually film them. I have the Polk Audio headset. I've had it for about two weeks. I just have not had time to do a review on it. You're a fucking dragon. (laughs) Not too nerdy. What's happening, baby? Before I arrived at that intro, too, I apologize. (laughs) He's taking it all in, eh? He's taking it all in. It reminds me of Beetlejuice. Turok, baby. It's all about that Turok game, (laughs) right? It was about the same level of graphics, too. (laughs) (laughs) All right, guys. I think we should wrap it up. Have a great week, and we'll see you guys next week. Oh, that was awesome.